All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. This evening, we are going to play some Across the Obelisk. This is a roguelike deck builder. Um, Slay the Spire, I guess, would be the main comparison. Um, but there's also some pretty big differences between this and Slay the Spire. Most notably, you have four characters in your group, and each character has their own separate deck. Um, they're the classic uh, role-playing game tropes. You know, tank, healer, mage, uh, ranger, scout, rogue, whatever. And each deck is completely different. There's no shared cards between them. Well, that's not true. There is some support cards. I think that... Is there... It's been a minute since I played. Maybe not. So, at the start, you go into this uh, town. Um, we have a little bit of starting money. Not a lot. We got all the town upgrades done already. All right, so let's not look at that. So we can we can customize our deck right out of the gate, um, but we don't have a lot of money, so we can't probably do everybody's. Can I still load decks? Yes. So Magnus, I want... Uh, which one of these do we want? Let's load this one. So this one costs me... This is going to cost me all my money. <laughs> this one won't cost me all my money. So let's, let's switch to this deck and we can load. Oh, look at that. We have just enough to make these two decks. So I will explain what all these cards do as we go. Um, so we got a bit of money left over. So let's go out of here and let's see if we can get some fancy new cards here. Looks like we got some. Oh, this is a good card. I like Pummel. That... It fits what we're trying to do in our deck, so we're going to take that. Um, this one... I'm just going to take the shards. This one here. I think I'm just going to take the shards again. And I'm just going to take the shards. So if you're new, you probably don't know what's going on, but I will explain um, some stuff. Once we get into some fights and some events, I'll kind of go over them slowly. Somewhat slowly, if you're a new player, if you're an experienced Cross the Obelisk player, you know, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to make this entertaining for both experienced and new players, but that might be a bit tricky, so just bear with me. And it has been a minute since I played this game, so I'm probably going to be rusty, which isn't good. I, I know. I'll admit that. Ooh, Hunter's Mark. I like Hunter's Mark. Um, let's just take the shards there. All right. And uh, let's see if we can upgrade a couple of cards here. Oh, yeah, we can upgrade some punches for sure. I don't want to spend too much time doing this. I want to get out there. I want to get into it so everybody can see it. See the game in action. Because, like I said, I know this makes absolutely no sense to somebody who's never played before. And, I, and that's fine. All right. That's all of our money, all of our shards. Let's go. Let's Let's dive into it here. And I apologize because you can probably hear a dog going nuts. <laughs> so this is our map. It's, it's similar to Slay the Spire, except it's left to right instead of bottom to top. But we got, uh, we got an event. We got combat. We got uh, an altar. These are uh, hero unlocks, but we've already done those. You know, healing. Um, store. Uh, new card. Boss. Move to the next area, right? And if, I guess if you've never played Slay the Spire, so we have, each character has their own deck. And, well, you know what? Let's just go. Let's just fight. And we can kind of explain what's going on here. So these are our four characters. It is currently my Ranger, Andrin's turn, because he has the highest speed. So this is the turn order. We'll go Andrin, then my two tanks, then my healer, and then the enemies get a turn if they're there. They have 41 health each. This is the card they're planning to play. There's cards that we can use that will show us what they're planning to do. We don't know what they're planning to do right now. If we... Where can I put myself? Eh, let's put myself up here, maybe. Sure. Um, so if I mouse over uh, the sheep, you can see in the top left corner, it shows their resistances. So these are slightly resistant to uh, blunt damage. Um, fire hits them extra hard. Unfortunately, our deck is built around doing blunt damage. <laughs> so that's less than ideal. So for example, this card, it applies four mark. 
essentially mark means they take extra damage so now we do 12 damage with this card um in the top left corner is the energy cost this is how much energy we have energy does carry over so we can hit it for 12 we can hit any monster for 17. that first card we played can only be used on the front monster like you'll say monster or front monster here or sometimes back monster but we got two energy left so let's finish this one off now this card costs us zero actually gives lets us gain energy but next turn we have less energy so we get more energy this turn less energy next turn so that was a pretty good turn we killed one um damaged the second one so we still got more characters to go at this point in the game chances are they're not even going to hit us so let's see here we got this hits all monsters it applies too slow that's not really going to help us. They're already slower than us. We can't make them any slower than that. Um, but we can do this. So this hits for six, but it repeats four times. So it's going to kill, right? Now, you notice it says it's going to do six, but you'll notice it has a five over it. That's because of that 20% resistance to uh, blunt damage. But we're going to do five damage five times. Right? So that's 25 damage, so it'll be dead. Boom. Now this one, it's full. We can do this. It only repeats three times because the other card we had, this one was an upgraded version. Um, but if we cast this first, it deals 14 damage, but it applies three crack. So that's three charges of crack. Um, you can see the, the tool tip there. It will do blunt damage. We'll take, they'll take an extra blunt damage per charge. So that means they'll take three extra blunt damage but because this is hitting four times, it's essentially doing way more extra damage, right? So it's down to two health. We can draw an extra card. Did we get anything that does damage? We didn't. So we can put some block on ourselves. So now, if they were to get a turn and attack us, if, they, if the attack is 11 or less, the damage is blocked. Right? Pretty simple. All right, so now... You just got to hit it once. It has two health. Boom. Dead. Easy peasy. Right? Done. All right. So every after every time, we get to pick new cards. Now, these two have pretty uh, specific decks. Um, they're both fighter types. They both do blunt damage and it, so and crack. So it's, it's based on putting that crack debuff on the enemies and then doing blunt damage is what these, these, de these decks are designed to do. So this doesn't help us do that. This doesn't help us do that. See that slashing damage, not blunt damage. Blunt damage has this symbol, the little hammer, right? Uh, but this is good. So mark, damage, they take one damage per mark charge. It only does one, but it also does sight. So it reveals cards. So we can see what they're planning to do, which is nice. And vulnerable. For every vulnerable stack, they lose 5% resistance. So this is really nice. And this card costs zero. I like this card. So we're going to take that. Um, Shield Bash is a solid card. We're going to take that. Stealth and Evasion. I'm not big on either of those. Poison. Yeah, I mean, you can make a deck built around Poison. I'm not going to try that tonight anyway. Extra Speed. Nah, we'll just take the Shards here. Sight is nice, but it's kind of meh. Scry. Meh. Holy Ripple. Deals 22 damage, applies 5 Sanctify and 2 Burn, or sorry, 3 Burn, and then it chains to a new target. That's a lot of damage. I'm going to take that. He's my healer, so I'm not, you know, super jumping into uh, damage cards, but it is nice to have some. All right, so we got an event here, the Lost Sheep. You see a small sheep running towards you and running away from a group of sheep that look angry. The poor sheep hides behind you, seeking shelter from the other sheep that were chasing her, you notice that the sheep has a necklace with the name Betty on the necklace. It also says the owner's address, Eastern Farmland. The other sheep are likely to attack you if you don't walk away from Betty. You can try to return her to her owner or ignore it. Let's confront the sheep and return Betty to her owner. We have to cross the fields to the north. Okay, so we got to do the combat first, though. All right, so 46 health, 41, 46. We have three characters going before any of them do, but our uh, our priest is a little slow. So hopefully we can kill a 
couple at least before the uh or you know they get a turn we don't want to take any damage if we can help it all right so we got expert tracker card grants one means we draw one extra card next turn we get to look at eight cards and discard any of them and we can play this on anybody so let's play it on him so what do we want to get rid of probably get rid of well, we can slow them down though to make sure our priest goes first let's get rid of our our defensive cards we don't need our defensive cards at this point so we'll keep the slow though okay and this gives us some block let's just draw a card for free essentially so this guy's going to take extra damage now so this is front monster only so we'll just hit the front monster this can do a hit any monster but we might as well oh, we're so close we're this close we, we can do 25 damage it sucks and there's no point in playing that so we'll just end turn we have two energy left but that will carry over to next turn all right so we might as well just do this punch finish it off we have six energy that's a lot so one two three four five six seven so there's one card we can't play probably this so let's hit the front monster so now this will kill yeah that'll kill now bye okay and then draw a card deal some damage no let's let's do the slow there now our healer moves first right not that it should matter i have a feeling that he's gonna kill it but you never know just to be safe right if you can help it you don't want to take any damage um can we finish it off oh yeah easily and boom done dead no damage taken easy peasy all right what are we looking at here I think I'll just take the shards here. I think I'll just take the shards here. Um, dual strike isn't bad. Yeah, let's do dual strike. And we'll take the shards there. None of those cards particularly interest me. So in order to do the sheep event, we gotta come up this way. So let's go up this way. Okay, so obelisk corruption. So this is like an extra event. We can choose to do it. We don't have to. So all monsters gain extra damage and are immune to bleed. We don't, we're don't. we not really using bleed in our decks. So that's not a big deal. When a hero plays an attack, all monsters gain fury. But the thing is, I think I can kill them or they really, are really getting a chance to go. Right? So I don't think it'll be a big deal. So let's, uh, let's do it. We can choose one of the rewards. Um, so Grookly would get this card for free in their deck. That's a lot of damage. It's expensive, but it's not really what we're trying to do with their deck. So let's just take the, uh, the general all purpose reward and then let's continue. Let's jump in. Let's see what happens. Ooh, they got a little more health than what we were dealing with before. This could be uh touch and go. <laughs> oh, look. And there's some bleed that we can't actually take advantage of, but it slows them down there okay um and we'll go boom boom yeah we we're gonna take some damage if they get a turn which they probably will all right so hmm, do i want to get rid of the defense cards or we want to keep them <laughs> right let's get rid of that if we have that we don't need both get rid of one of these defense yeah this should be good. All right, in turn. All right, Magnus. All right, so Piercing Hal gives them all vulnerable, which is really nice. Um, let's intimidate. How much damage can we do to that front guy? That will kill him. So let's kill him. Okay, he's dead. Let's intimidate the corn. That's right, we're fighting corn. <laughs> Hit it with that. Hit it with that. Okay, so it's dead. So we'll throw shield on him. Throw shield on ourselves just in case they get a turn. I think this one at the back is just a healer. Always offense. Well, at this point in the game, right? At this point in the game, you definitely want offense. 
later on might be a little different. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to kill. Well, we might be able to kill him. Depends what her healer draws. Depends what her healer draws. So we might as well throw up some some shields. Well, even if, yeah, we got a lot of shields up, even if they get a chance. And our healer did not draw any damage whatsoever. What is this card? Dispel two heals for X, where X is my hand size, and grants three blasts. Okay, well, that's actually pretty good. Let's take the bleed off him, give him bless. Yeah, <laughs> none of these cards really help. But, yeah, I don't think they're really going to do any damage, despite their rage. I'm not overly concerned. So, yeah, there's the healer. Whatever, we're fine. The difficulty does definitely ramp up in this game. Don't worry about that. <laughs> if you're thinking, man, this looks easy. Yeah, it looks easy now. I agreed, but it will get harder. All right, so the, we debuffed them both pretty good there. Punch will finish him off. And throw a pummel his way. Throw a shield bash his way. Throw up some defense, even though I don't think we'll really need it. I'm pretty sure Grookley should be able to finish this guy off. Amal, yep. Victory is ours. Um, I don't think I want any of these cards or any of those cards. What are we looking at here? I think I'll pass on those. Yeah. And I'll pass on those. And that's a bunch of shards. All right, so let's go do this event. We'll return Betty home safely. All right, you arrive at the eastern farmlands with Betty intact when a farmer approaches you and says, Ooh, you found Betty. Thank you so much, strangers. Even being so small, she's my favorite sheep, and I won several local contests with her. I wonder how she got away. I don't have much gold, but you might be interested in hearing a rumor as to where their legendary golden sheep might be. I will take the rumor. As the locals know, the legendary golden sheep is a magical sheep that appears rarely with other grazing sheep and protects them. The sheep has golden wool, and no one has ever been able to catch it. This wool could be worth a lot of money or be useful to craft magic items. This morning while I was looking for Betty, I seemed to see the golden sheep in the grass hill behind the tower. It is most likely that it is still there. That is here. So we got to go through this hatch. Um, so let's you come across a house in ruins and inside you see a large hatch. You try to open the hatch, but it is properly closed. A few seconds later, a voice speaks to you through the hatch. Only those touched by the flames. Then the voice remains silent as if waiting for a passphrase. What do you want to do? Leave. Or we can enter. So everybody draws a card from their deck. If they get a 1 or lower, they succeed. Um, or we can... Get, everybody draws a card, but we got to get a 5 or higher. I like this one, because even if they fail, they did, it's not the end of the world. They just get a 1 bad card in their deck. Carl Thompson says, I'm a big fan of all-out offense and put the load on my healer to fix the health. I'm not saying that's right, but that's what he likes. I get it too. I probably, maybe that's what I should be doing. All right. Silly gatekeepers. You're inside the hatch. Here you can see what at first glance seems to be a normal basement. But at the end, at the end of the room, you can see a door with three pigmen keeping watch. They are new to this place and they don't seem very excited about having to stand guard. In fact, one of them is lying down and almost asleep. The other two don't seem to be very smart either, but they could raise the alarm depending on how you approach. Okay. So we can leave. We're not going to leave. We can just we can just do combat straight up. We can act as if you were one of them and go ahead. Four lowers the group. That's possible. They don't seem very smart. Let me try to intimidate them. Um, You know what? Let's just do combat. Let's just do combat. At this point, I think we can take them. I hope we can take them. <laughs> All right, so Hunter's Mark, you deflect, deflect, uh, Hunter's Mark, the second one, and we will do, oh, almost killed him. Actually, you know what, let's hit the second one. We can finish the first one off pretty easy with the right card. See, look at that, exactly 23. Perfect, draw another card, get some extra energy. Um, intimidate the back one, sure. That way they all have some debuffs on them. 
So they'll all die a little quicker. Speaking of debuffs, let's debuff him some more. And hit him four times for 11, so he's dead. Man, these guys are not putting up much of a fight. <laughs> but, I mean, this is a roguelite. Like, this is not my first run. Your first run will not go this well. Just saying. Um, Slow it down. No point in slowing it down. So let's just punch it in the face. Punch it in the face. And I would have punched it in the face again, given the opportunity, but I didn't need to. All right, so now we're talking. That's some serious blunt damage. Five vulnerable is a lot of vulnerable. That's a lot of resist. It's gone. It is expensive. It does cost three, but that's fine. We're taking that. Um, here, I think we'll just take the shards. I do like the Song of Celerity, so I'm going to pick that. It makes all my heroes faster. Basically guarantees we go first. We all go first in the first round. Delay of response. So we slow down a hero, but we give them an extra card and an extra energy. Interesting. Just a straight up heal. Heal X damage. X equals your hand size. Ah, let's just take the shards. Alright, and we're in the hatch. Let's go. Let's go up this way. Another obelisk corruption we could do. They gain extra ice damage, ice resistance. When a hero plays a card, they suffer to chill. I think we can do this. Party will heal. I don't think we need to do that. Let's take the bonus. Bonus materials. All right, what are we looking at here? Let's do a deflect. I'll rupture the front guy, I guess. And then just do as much damage as we can. Yeah, we might as well just kill the front guy. There, done. Bye bye. Later. <laughs> um, any point in slow? Yes, slow. We'll let our healer go in case he needs it. All right, I can't quite cast everything here. We can do crack, and then sunder armor, and then kill it with that. Oh, that's that's overkill. <laughs> but whatever overkill is fine overkill doesn't really bother me and that's the end of his turn all right so we got two down one to go and we can no point slowing it down but we can add some crack apply some crack and probably kill it with that yeah <laughs> i swear to god this will get harder all right what are we looking at okay i don't think i've ever seen this card before right here Urges Evasion, applies four crack and one shackle, which reduces speed to zero. It's 24 blunt damage. It's got Vanish, so we can only use it once. That's fine. That's a good, I don't, is this a new card? I've never seen this card before. Have you seen this card before? Um, we'll just take the shards here. Shiv, Rapid Fire, ooh, Rapid Fire. Eats three times. Eh, I think we'll pass. An addiction, vile gas, sacred bolt. Um, we'll just take the shards. We're gonna have a lot of shards to spend. All right, stone statue, the imp altar. At the end of the hall, you find a large stone statue of an imp. Although the placement of the statue is suspicious, it can be clearly seen that it is used as an altar of some kind. You found imps before wandering around freely, and the statue may have something to do with it. What do you want to do? You do not want to touch this altar and be surrounded by imps by accident. We're not scared of imps. Carefully, you inspect the statue to find something unusual. New to me when I played last night. Yeah, it must be new then. Smash the statue. Now yeah, let's examine. Let's see what happens. Uh, nope, we failed the roll. So we failed the roll. So, a secret door open behind the statue, activated the altar that begins to summon imps. So, we got to fight the statue and some imps. Not a big deal. Make everybody go fast. Um, all right, so let's get rid of the defensive cards, of which there aren't any of. So, okay. <laughs> Good enough. That was not a great turn from him, to be fair. This turn's looking pretty promising, though. Pommel, punch. 
Pommel. Pommel. And a pommel. Yeah, it's looking it's looking pretty promising. <laughs> Another pom pom pommel. See it's pommel and pommel. They're they're awfully close together. I'm definitely gonna say the wrong one sometimes. And that's a dead statue. Not that a statue, I guess, can ever really be alive, but that one kind of was. <laughs> Alright, so maim. That's a lot of blunt damage. It's a lot of crack. That's a lot of slow. It's expensive, but I'm taking it. Ooh, I don't think I know this card either. Coat of Arms. Dispels. Oh, it's used on yourself. Dispels vulnerable. Gives you 52 block. And 5 reinforce. Uh, reinforce is slashing blunt and piercing resistance is up 30%. And your charge goes away. So it makes, it, would ma it makes it really tanky. Well, really, really tanky for one turn. And pretty tanky for five turns. It is expensive. And like like Carl said, we, we kind of want to go all offense. So let's just take the shards. We already have two hunters mark. I do like the card, but we already have two of it. So we're just going to take the shards there. Um, any of these cards seem good. Bless isn't bad. Damage done and heal received plus one per charge. So let's take that. Let's take the, the benediction. An extra heal. Um, so there's two different ways we can go. This is a like a treasure room. So let's go over here. Secret door takes you to a room with a large chest. You open the chest and find some items that might be useful. Among them, a bright orange potion catches your eye. As soon as you take the potion out of the chest, its contents begin to disappear. You don't know if it is drinkable, but there's no time. And only one can drink it before it completely vanishes. So we can decline. None of us drink it. We can let fate decide, or I can specify what. I'm pretty sure the potion is a, a good card. So let's just... Let's just go random, just for fun. Let's let them roll. All right, so Andrin gets it. Everybody levels up is nice. So yeah, this is a good card. You draw a card, you get an energy. You get two insulate, which makes you uh, stronger against elemental damage, and it dispels any burn you happen to have on you. So that's a pretty solid little card. All right, now this is a chest, so... What are we looking at? Each person can have can pick one thing. So ice and mind resistance 10%. Start a combat, you gain eight block. That's not terrible. Poison dart. 30% chance to dispel every turn. Max HP. I mean, all this stuff's pretty mediocre, but every little bit can help. But it's all defensive stuff, which is kind of meh, honestly, at this point in the game. Um, let's take the soap with you take that with you that with you and you can have that whatever so we're a little tankier all around level ups we can spend alright so we're level 2 now we get 10 extra max HP we can add a copy of wolf guard to your deck all resistance is plus 15 if you're damaged by others, you gain 16 and 1. So that's a pretty good card. Okay, let's follow up. The next attack, reduce the cost of the highest attack card in your hand by 4 until discarded. We do have some expensive cards, so let's go with follow up. And you can take Onslaught. The next attack, you draw 1, reduce the cost of it by 1. Or Grudge. Let's take Onslaught. Alright, so Maneuver. For every energy used, when you play a card, draw a card, gain 8 uh, block and 2 evasion. That's one use. Okay, or Wild Hunt. Um, buffs yourself. Mark charges plus 2. For every energy used, when you play a card, apply 2. Mark to a random monster. Last one turn. I, I like Mark. I'm a big fan of Mark, so we're going to take the Mark. And for you, for Reginald, so we could get a focus heal. Didn't, makes our next healing spell hit for plus 125%. That's not bad. Or Define Retribution. Self. If damaged by others, deal 12, gain 1, last 3. I'm hoping to not have him get damaged very much. Let's take the, let's take the focus heal so we can get big heals if we need it. Alright, so now I believe we're going to fight a little mini boss. 
The summoning ritual, you reach the end of the basement, and here you can see many cultists in a summoning circle. Summoning has begun, and from the number of cultists, it does not appear that it will be just a normal imp who show up. They become aware of your presence near the ritual, and some cultists leave the circle to confront you. Alright, let's fight them. I'm not scared of no imps. Oh, this isn't imps. <laughs> I'm not scared of no cultists, whatever they are. Alright, so let's do deflect. Draw a card, gain seven. Let's throw the old hunter's mark on the front guy, make him take more damage. And we can actually cast all four of these, so is it gonna be enough to kill the front guy? Probably not. It'll be close. No, it is. It's just enough. Alright, perfect. He is dead. Gonzo. Alright, so we must as well enrage first. Um we draw a card, gain two energy, right? The more information we have, the better. So we'll do pommel. Get that crack on there so that all, all our other blunt damage does more. And we can pummel for a little more damage. Nice. We can punch for a little more damage. And then we'll muzzle well throw up a barricade. So if they do get an attack, we're pretty well defended. And okay, let's get a little more defense, right? Why not? All right, what do you have? Um, let's hit the front monster and draw a card. We just got a bunch of punches, basically. All right, well, at least we killed one. The next attack, draw one. Okay, and then it costs one less. Perfect. And might as well make us even tankier. So they will get an attack, but they're not going to do much. Ooh, holy ripple. Hey, our healer finally got to attack. And he did some damage. He definitely did some damage. All right, so it's actually going to die to burn damage and bleed damage. On its turn, see the bleed there, lose 6 HP at the start of the turn. So you might as well hit the back one. And I believe that is all we can do. Let's end our turn. Let that one kill itself. Bleed to death, I guess it's not killing itself. And it hits me for a little bit of damage. It buffs itself up. Gives itself some block. Nothing we can't burn through. All right. Do a little mark. And, oh, it has evasion. All right, so let's get rid of some of that evasion. That's fine. So now we can hit it. Ooh, maim. So we got five energy. Yeah, let's hit this maim. It'll get through its block. And then we should be able to fill it just off with the pommel. Pommel? Pommel. Who's a pommel? <laughs> Pommel's the one that hits multiple times. All right. And, okay, so we could take a shield bash. I don't think I need another shield bash. I don't think I need another punch or another shield bash. I already have one of this. I already have one of this, don't I? Something similar. Scavenge. Pick one from your discard and place it on top of your deck. Cost zero. Eh. <laughs> penance or penance. <laughs> or sacred bolt. Now you'll notice these cards are different. Um, the yellow lettering on this one means it's been upgraded. So if we right click, so this is base penance, cost three, deals six, add a base, repeats twice. Or you can, when you upgrade, you usually have a choice of two upgrades. So this one increases the damage to eight. This one decreases damage to four, but it also decreases the cost. So this is basically, I don't have the choice to take this one. I can take a base penance or I could take this penance. Now penance is good in my deck because I have mark, right? So basically, if, if if it's been marked, each hit of penance is going to do more damage, right? So we'll take the cheap penance. All right, so the ritual ended, the room filled with red smoke, and the temperature rose rapidly. You don't know if it went well or not, but all the remaining cultists start to flee in panic after realizing what they've done. An impressive imp appears before you. That is the greater demon, Belfiore, the lord of the imps. What do you want from me, mortal? Although weakened by the precarious summoning conditions, you can't underestimate him. Well, we could leave, or we could try to leave. We can just fight him. Or we could persuade him. I'm just going to fight him. I'm just fighting everything. That's that's what I'm doing this run. I'm just fighting stuff. Fool. The fight begins. He does have a lot of health. He has 386 health. But, I mean, 100 mark is going to do some... Oh, I should have done that first. That was bad. <laughs> I could have done more. Right, he's getting marked up pretty good. So, yeah, I don't... 
Honestly, I don't think he's going to get a turn unless we drop poorly on both of our tankies. All right, so we got six, so we can cast everything. So let's debuff him even more. Debuff him even more. Debuff him even more. And guess what? Debuff him even more. Eh, I might not be able to kill him. Now that I think about it. Unless... How much is Pommel? Oh, Pommel's going to do a lot of damage. Pommel is going to do a ton of damage. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> so he has six health left. So if a priest gains... If he draws pretty much any damage... Actually, no. He doesn't even need to draw damage. He's going to take 18 bleed damage. And start of his turn. So we got this. Well, let's pretend we don't have that, so let's kill him. Yeah, no, I mean, this is going good, but it's the first area, right? If you were on your first run, or if I was on my first run, it wouldn't be going quite as well. Um, none of those look interesting. Lost Blow. Deals 25 blunt damage, ignores block, and purges reinforce. Hmm. Or push forward. All heroes. Grant one. Gain 16. Gain two. That's actually pretty good. I've never seen this card before. What's... Okay, I don't understand. So it grants one fast, and but you gain two fast. I don't understand the difference between grant and gain here. Like, shouldn't you just gain three fast? You know what I mean? I'm going to take it just because I'm curious how that actually works. Um, none of these really interest me. Alright, so we got Shield of Warding. Eh. A couple of Vitalize. Vitalize is eh. So we'll take this. We'll take the shards. A great feat. We've defeated the Greater Demon. Although he is not dead, he returned to his plane of existence and will take time to recover. Still. It is still a great achievement. It must be celebrated. Too many stills. <laughs> there should be some magic shards. It's like it's prohibition again. There's too many stills. There should be some magic shards in the demon's remains. And now the basement is empty of cultists for you to loot. Loot the basement and get some rest. You collect all the magic shards and also found a hidden chest near the summoning circle. One of the greater demon's horns remained after the fight. You take it as a trophy and proof of your deed. You open the chest and rest for a while. I like rest. Resting is good. Alright, so we got a chest. Ooh, this is good for our this guy because he does those types of damage. Um, extra shield charges is never a bad thing. Extra HP and extra resistance is never a bad thing. You, what do you want to take here? Max HP, I guess. You will take the weapon for sure. And you will take what? Nothing. Yeah. I'll take the money. You can take money. You don't need to take an item. And we're out of the basement. You leave the basement. All right. Hey, that was extra XP. All right, so let's go here and try to find the golden sheep. I don't think I've ever done this event before, honestly. You reach the grass hill behind the tower. As the farmer told you, there's a group of sheep grazing. And among them, you see a larger sheep with golden wool. That must be the legendary golden sheep. You don't know if it's rare enough to call it legendary. But one thing's for sure. That sheep wool... That sheep's wool looks like it will be very expensive. And by very, I mean really. I do not know why I changed that word from really to very. <laughs> if you want to catch and kill it, you only have one chance before all the sheep run away. How do you want to approach them? We can leave. You don't want to kill that beautiful sheep. We can combat. Go straight for the golden sheep without worrying about the other sheep. We can ambush. We got to roll five or lower with the whole group. Careful. Carefully move slowly between the sheep and assault the golden sheep. Um, we can try to disperse him with a bit of a low howl, but we need to draw, we need to draw a skill card. Or we can let uh, Grolke try to catch her. Let's see what happens if we do this. Grookly throws herself throws himself ferociously against the poor sheep, which for a moment are paralyzed with fear. Surprisingly, Grookly manages to catch the golden sheep and give it the coup de grace while the others flee in terror. As you leave, you take the opportunity to pick up a few magic shards from the hill. Nice. <laughs> I'll take it. All right. 
So let's go this way. You see this symbol here it means we can use the horn of Belfiore that we got from the from the thing there. All right, so we got the soldier trainer. As you go around the tower, you see a man with a wooden sword practicing some movements. When you approach, he speaks to you. Hello, adventurers. Perhaps you're interested in some combat training. I can teach you one of my special defensive moves for 200 gold. If you want, if you all want to learn, it will cost you a thousand. All right, so what what do we get? Okay, we get take cover. So we draw on draw. It's free. It gets replaced instantly. Slow is dispelled, and we gain eight. Um, I forget what it's called. Shield, which is block next turn. Right? So I could give it to... Uh, how much money do I have? Let's give it to everybody. I mean, it's, a, it's basically a free card. It replaces itself. Right? Why wouldn't we? All right, let's go here. Use the uh, Horn of Belfiore. In the forest, you found a large open space. It seems like the perfect place to rest a bit before continuing your journey. When you go to set up a camp, you realize that there's already another group of adventurers camping. They see you and offer to share the camp. One of them also tells you, hey, do you want to share some stories from your travels while the rest of us, while we rest? So let's uh, tell them about the time we slayed Belfior. So we get a little bit of XP. They were really impressed, though. Oh, well. All right, so we can go We can go down to the shop. We can just go fight, go straight to the boss. We can go up here, do a mini boss. Is there still a mini boss up here, I wonder? Let's find out. Ooh, we can do an obelisk corruption. Now, this is hard. All monsters gain extra XP and extra damage. Reginald gets a greater heal for, for, th for free. That's a pretty good card. Each hero will be able to remove two cards for free from their deck. I've already removed cards from their decks. You can remove cards relatively cheaply in town. I'm actually going to skip this one, just for the sake of time. I want to kind of, I want to get to the new area, right? I want to push through the, this first area and get into the more difficult content. All right, so let's uh, deal some fire damage. Let's draw an extra card, give myself a little block. All right, we didn't get any of our debuffs, but front monster only, front monster only. As you can see. We're dealing far less damage than what's listed on the card because it has pretty high resists. 24% uh, ranged, 22% to blunt, and 32% to slashing. But we can still kill it. But obviously this guy has a little more health. He's going to be a little harder to kill. That's fine. We'll kill him. And turn. Magnus, what do you got for me, bud? We got an Intimidate. So he'll take some more damage. Let's enrage. We draw a card, gain a couple energy. Ooh, that lets us do Sunder Armor. That'll let everything else hit harder. So now his resists are not as good. And resists can go in negative. They can go below zero, and then they take extra damage. That's what makes Vulnerable so good, right? Being able to do extra damage. So that's going to almost kill him. This should kill him. Beautiful. All right, so probably one of these is gonna get a, gonna get a move. But that's fine. I'm okay with that. So let's do a little bluff. Lots of punches here. <laughs> so punch, punch, punch. Pummel, pummel gonna get the kill. Yep. And we muzzle throw up some defense in case this guy gets a turn. So Reginald's my healer. He doesn't have as much damage in his deck. Now he might draw some damage. Drew a little bit of damage. Not much. And so now he will do extra damage next turn. And yeah, let's just end turn. Oh, he's just going to heal and put up a defensive spell. That's fine. Uh, wild Hunt, Deflect, Hunter's Mark, we will strike. That hit pretty hard. Now let's just end turn. And pretty sure Magnus will be able to finish him off. Easy peasy. The lemon has been squeezied. We already have one Sunder Armor. Probably don't need a second. Or do I? How many cards do I have in my deck? 21 cards. Well, he's going to take Leap Slam. You know what? I'm gonna, this one only costs two. I'm going to take it. Um, here, we will just take the shards. And here, we'll just take the shards. All right, so let's go up here. I think this is a mini boss. 
Yeah, so let's just fight. Let's just fight him. 204 health. That's nothing. <laughs> Can we kill him on the first turn is the question. Uh, let's deal six. Put some bleed on him. Well, we didn't really do much debuffing there. All right, so we don't need you. don't need you. Oh, boat. Both under armors. All right. Let's do this. All right, so we'll go Piercing Hell first. Then we'll go Pommel. Get that uh, crack on there. Then we go follow up. Okay, so the next attack reduces the cost of the highest cost attack card in your hand by four. So you should be able to do this, which will reduce that to zero. Let me do that. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. So if as long as Grookly gets a couple of decent attack cards, we should be able to get the kill. Yeah, I think we're good. Leap Slam for 46. And... The pummel for would have been 80 if we needed it, but we didn't need it. All right, 60 shards. Ooh, another maim. I think I have enough expensive cards in my deck right now. Um, what is this? I don't think I've seen this card before. Heals X. X equals targets discard pile times two. Grants two buffer. I do like buffer. Basically, the next two harmful effects get ignored, which is nice. This game is largely about harmful effects and buffs. Um, but you know what? I'm just going to take the shards. All right. You did it. Yager is no more. With the Butcher dead, the remaining bandits flee. All right. So we got 240 gold, 240 shards. We got some uh, town upgrade materials, which don't really help us because our town's already upgraded. Uh, we might as well give you speed, I guess. Give you... I already have stuff in all these slots. Eh. Actually, this is pretty good. Brigand Arm is pretty good. We're gonna we're gonna go with that. Extra XP, all resistances, and extra speed. Speed is important. What's this give? Excuse me. I said speed's important, and I'm gonna take away speed. He's fast enough as it is, and he's gonna take some money because nothing really helps him. And boss, boss of the first area. So we can rest to heal. We can just gauge him quickly. We can try to ambush him, but we got to roll six or higher. That's, I don't like rolling those. In case you didn't notice, I like just being direct. I don't like risking it. So he's going to be a little tougher than anything we've fought so far, but not ridiculously so. Let's put the intimidate on him. Um, then we'll pommel you. Thunder armor you and punch you. So yeah, he's pretty tanky, right? He's got pretty high resists. Put some, give some fire damage to everything. This is from Monster Only. Unfortunately, he's immune to bleeds. Can I kill him though? With the other stuff first? No. We can kill him now, which I guess we'll do. Okay, so at least we got him dead. Be nice to get her dead as well, if possible. Uh, maybe. Oh yeah, now now we will for sure. Maybe, well, yeah, we got her. All right, that's fine. And he mostly just buffs the first turn. He doesn't really start attacking. You can see two of his cards. He's gonna gain four powerful, which makes him do more damage, more heals. He's gonna deal five to somebody, right? Like. He's not doing much this turn. It's not a big deal. All right, so let's give you extra damage next turn. Um, let's give you a shield just in case. And let's end turn. All right, so yeah, he he buffed himself, so he's got he's got some defense. He's got reinforce. He's got thorns. So every time we hit him, he's gonna hit us back for eight. Well, every time we hit him for damage, Hunter's Mark does not. A, trigger the thorns so let's make everybody yeah you can make everybody faster it doesn't really do anything though <laughs> hit him hit him all right so we, we we get hit by the thorns but we had a shield so it was fine every time we hit the thorns though it goes down so now it's only six damage instead of eight 
so that's fine. But if we have a shield, we're going to put the shield up first. Or are we? This attack, yes. All right, so the next attack. So we'll do this. Get some shield. This is now free. And then we can hit that. And I guess we can slow him down. That was kind of a waste of energy. but Because the energy does carry over from turn to turn. Oh, this isn't a great. Right, so the next attack, we draw a card. We only have the one attack, though. <laughs> so we can't reduce the, the cost of the expensive one, unfortunately. But we can reduce the cost of that one. All right, who doesn't have any block? Because he's going to get a turn. And that's okay. It is okay to occasionally get a turn. Throw Holy Smite out. Throw Holy Ripple out. A little extra damage. Yeah, he'll get a turn, but not much of a turn. Or he'll get one turn, and that's it, I should say. And the end turn. Alright, so he heals. He's doing some damage. He's doing some damage, and he's buffing himself. Buff yourself all you want, bud. You're not getting another turn, I don't think. All right, so let's throw Wild Hunt out. And then deflect, draw a card, deflect, draw a card. And then, does he have thorns? He does not have thorns. So let's just do that, and do that. Oh, he's got, yeah, he's got 19 mark. As long as we draw any attack, he's dead. Pretty much. Later. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, bludgeon is good. Bludgeon is good. We're going to take the bludgeon. Ooh, shield breaker. Purge, block, deal 26 damage. Yeah. How often is block really an issue, though? But see, there's a new area. I don't know what's there. Maybe this. Maybe they have a bunch of block there. <laughs> right? I don't know. This is a lot of shards, so if you take the shards. So I'm going to take the shards. What is this? And what requires stanza 2, that's like a whole thing where you turn them into a bard, basically. Our deck is not meant for that, so we're just going to take the shards here. Excuse me. Condemnation deals 25 damage, applies 2 decay. Decay is nice because it blocks heals. We might take that. Actually, let's take that because um, one of the bosses does have, at least one of the bosses does have a heal. So we got more money, we got more shards, more experience. Alright, so. Um, does any of this really help him? Mm. Uh, I think I'm just going to roll with what he has. Okay, so he doesn't have anything in this slot, so let's take that. He doesn't have anything in that slot. But we don't want that. We don't want that. So let's just take the money. And he will take the heal done. When you play a healing spell, healing spell, you gain a regeneration charge. Alright. And we are through to the next area. Now we can choose. Um, let's do the red portal. Red portal is obviously the fire type area. It will be a little tougher. But we do get a chance here to uh, adjust some decks. So Andrin, actually let's uh yeah, let's let's buy cards first. There's there's a particular card I want from in this in this guy's deck. Uh, where is it? Right here, shrapnel shot, because it applies crack, right? And we're we our, our deck is based around crack. I just heard what I just said. <laughs> our deck is playing. <laughs> based around crack and I kind of had a little giggle there anyway I do like ricochet let's buy a ricochet as well um what about cheap cards here wasn't there a cheap card I liked find weakness we're gonna buy a find weakness all right now we're gonna get rid of some cards out of his deck keep it thin right um find me hunter's mark hunter's mark Okay, we're going to take out one of these ruptures. We're going to take out a couple of these aim shots. 
So you might take out all the aim shots. <laughs> and then we're going to upgrade a couple of his cards. So slice now. He has four slices, so two of them. We're going to make them um, apply extra marks. Two of them we're going to make free. Okay. Song of Celerity, we're going to do this upgrade so he always draws it in the opening hand. Dual Strike. Do we want to upgrade this? It's yes, now it's any monster, not just the front one. Ricochet also applies Mark. As you can see, I like applying Mark. <laughs> and Shrapnel Shot, I like applying Extra Crack. Although, that means we only get one use of it there, so let's take... We'll, we'll go one of each. Alright, so his deck... I like his deck now. It's pretty good. So let's take a look at Reg Reginald's deck here. He doesn't really have much to apply crack. Actually, you know what? Let's go back to Andron for one minute. Let's take a look. at. He doesn't really have anything expensive. I mean, he's got some two costs, but let's see if there's a like a big three cost card we can get him. Like Expose Armor, for example. Does some damage. Applies four vulnerable and two mark. Song and opening hand is awesome. You mean the um, Song of Celerity? Yeah. I don't like it unless I have, have it in my opening hand. Debilitate is nice. I mean, it's better in poison, but this weak is really nice. Damage and healed on 50%. This is a boss killer. It also costs 800 bucks or 800 shards, but that's okay because this is a great card. We're going to take that, and we're going to take Expose Armor. So now he has some expensive cards in there. Reginald. Where is the card that I like for him? I forget what I used to do with Reginald's deck. Um, you know what? Let's let's just upgrade Reginald's cards. Or let's see. Let's remove. Let's remove these foresights. I don't like foresight. Everything else I think is playable though. Let's upgrade this. So uh, it does global usually. I don't like global because I don't like giving the enemy any advantages. <laughs> so. We'll, Make it so that it only gives me a regeneration. I don't need to give the enemy rege regeneration. So let's upgrade. We got two barriers. We got three barriers. So let's upgrade one into that. Upgrade one into that. We'll actually get rid of the third barrier. I don't think I need three barriers. Flash. We'll make one free. We'll make one draw an extra card. We'll probably get rid of our other flash. Well, we don't want to get rid of all our cheap cards. Actually, we'll make heal be cheaper. Make this heal be better we'll actually we'll get rid of a heal so we'll actually make this flash for free you gotta remember to get rid of this heal benediction i don't like making cards more expensive let's go with this upgrade how are we doing for shards We're still at 1500 holy smite again i don't like making cards more expensive if i can help it it's got to be a really big upgrade for you to make it more expensive all monsters no we have this specifically to put put it on boss the bosses can't heal right all right so we want to get rid of barrier and we want to get rid of that heal all right all the decks have been tuned we're ready to go all right so we got to upgrade so got a couple cards to upgrade in his deck though so deflect gives a little extra block gives a little extra block hunter's mark we make it free or we make it do more mark and vulnerable. I love vulnerable. We only get one use of it. At a, so let's do this one. Find weakness. We can make it free. Or we can make it do a lot more. His deck is... Yeah, I mean, it's got some cheap stuff. But it's also got some pricey stuff. Actually, can I get another one of these? We can make one free. It's one base. Is there another? No, there's only one to buy. Crap. That's fine. All right. So we got some money to spend. Let's take a look at the equipment shop. All right. This is good in certain situations, not in our deck. As is that. As is most of the stuff. Ooh, I like this. Mark charges. So that's going on him. Andron. Beautiful. Um... We can re-roll the shop. 
Slashing damage, that's not... That's not good. There's a... I mean, you can build a deck around this item. It's just not what we're trying to do. How you doing, Klutzy? Hello. This is what we want, though. Extra... Um, extra blunt damage. Right? That's what we want. Magnus can take that. And when, once per turn, when we draw a melee attack, we draw a card, right? That's good. Um, fire damage. We're not doing fire damage. I mean, we could re-roll the shop. Sad I was late on the team fight manager stream. Ah, it's all good, Klutzy. It's all good. You're here now. Have you ever, have you ever heard of Across the Obelisk or played it before? Max HP... Actually, that might be good for him. He, well, he doesn't have anything in that slot. Let's re-roll one more time. It would have been nice to get that. Oh, this is nice if you're going for fire, but we're not. All right, you know what? I'm happy with that. We got some good items there. We upgraded some decks. Actually. Um, oh, we can definitely upgrade some cards here. And here, oh my god, nothing's upgraded in his deck. Actually, we can probably get rid of... Do we need three intercepts? Let's make one cost money. Let's upgrade this one. Excuse me, upgrade this one. So we can make punch hit anybody, or we can make it hit harder. I like making it hit harder. Although flexibility is nice too. <laughs> they both have their advantages. We can make bluff free, or we can make it do crack. I like crack. <laughs> and I didn't say that. You know what I mean when I say I like crack. <laughs> um, yeah, let's upgrade pommel a little bit. Can we upgrade this pommel? All right, this will be pretty much the end of my shards, though. So make it target anything or make it repeat an extra time. I want to repeat an extra time. We can upgrade Shield Bash and upgrade Shield Bash. All right, now we're ready. I mean, we're out of shards, but we're ready. All right, so what way do we want to go? Oh, so this is one of the new areas. Um, or new characters, not new area. Oh, what is this? Oh, we can go here and sell our golden wool. Let's go this way. We'll come back for this guy some other time. Actually, you know what? I need to... I have a, a guide on how to unlock every character. I'm going to have to figure out how to unlock these two new characters and upgrade the guide. Um, Carl, have you figured out how to unlock either character? If so, send me a DM on Discord. <laughs> All right, so monsters are faster and we're slower. So they're going to get a turn. We can access a rare equipment shop, which is meh because we don't have a lot of money. Or we can remove a card from our deck, which is meh, because we literally just could have removed every card, any card from the deck we wanted for free. So let's just continue. We don't need to make that harder. So as you can see, they're getting tankier, right? In the second area. So we got six energy, so we can do everything in our hand. So let's make him take more damage from Blunt. And make him take even more damage from Blunt. And then hit him with the old shield bash. You have unlocked one of them. Nice. Do I want to do the shield bash or do I want to barricade? Let's barricade. Let's actually start playing it safe. Because I'm not going to be able to just kill them the first round consistently anymore. <laughs> Alright, so let's hit him with a little bit of fire damage. Not much. Let's deflect, draw a card. Deflect, draw a card. Draw another card. Make everybody go fast. Wild Hunt, and Expose. And let's take a look at what you have. All right, I don't need defensive cards. So we don't need Intercept. Don't need Barricade. Uh, take take Carver's Fine, it places itself. We'll keep one of the Shield Bashes. That should be fine. All right, Grilke, what do you got here? Well, exactly what we thought it would get. All right, so we can draw a card by casting that. Now this becomes cheaper, or everything becomes cheaper. All right, so I want to see how this card works. Does it give us three? 
of this. Okay, so we already have a bunch of that. Oh, so, okay. The all heroes part is the one. The gain 16 and 2 is only him. Okay. I mean, that kind of sucks, but it's good to know. So we'll hit you with that, hit you with that, and then hit you with that. So it's going to die from bleed damage. Perfect. And everybody has a lot of armor. So even if they get a turn, not a big deal. Uh, speaking of which, actually, we might be able to even kill this thing just from the healer's damage. Almost. Not quite. Not quite. Um, who needs block? Nobody, but what the hell. You might as well. Might as well get some block out there. Oh, don't summon another imp. We just killed an imp. These guys are jerks. Alright, so that imp bled to death. Let's see if we can get through this first imp quick. Uh, reduce attack. Uh, I only have one attack. I wish I had a second attack. That sucks. Piercing hell. Okay, so that second rate of evasion? No. Excuse me. Oh crap, I didn't oh I don't even have energy to cast that anymore. I just screwed up. <laughs> that was like a terrible turn. I I dropped the ball there. Um can we kill you? If I do that first, definitely can kill you. Now we can kill you. Okay, so, oh, so yeah, Hunter's Mark removes the evasion. That's right, too. It has 20 block, though, so we're unlikely to kill it. But we will try. Oh, plus it has evasion, yeah. So we're not, uh, we're definitely not going to kill it. But that's fine. Get some block out there. Although... I might be able to kill it. Yeah, no, never mind. Go, go, healer damage. <laughs> Apparently. Alright, so we got Flaming Strike. Or, sorry, Flanking Strike. It's a good card. It's just not um, what we're trying to do in this deck. Neither is that. The spelling is nice. But... I'm going to pass. Oh, heavy strike. Leap slam. Let's take the heavy strike. Right, poison shot. We're not going for poison. We're not doing a stanza deck. And we're not doing a stealth deck. So I guess we'll skip there. Oh, I wish this card wasn't so expensive because it's so good. Deal three. It's all monsters, right? I mean, the insane part. You have to build a deck around insane to really make insane shine. You know what? I'm going to take the shards. Alright, so an event. The banquet. You arrive at some kind of party. It seems that the cultists are organizing a banquet for the new members. They seem too drunk or immersed in the party to be bothered by your presence here. You notice that some cultists are playing a drinking game. Maybe you can talk to them or join the game to extract useful information. We can sneak away, but we have to roll for that. We can just crash the party. We can drink, or we can drink, or we could drink. I think... Let's drink. I mean, I could do combat. Let's drink. But let's see what happens. When you were playing drinking, one of the cultists spelled something curious. 457. You don't know what those numbers are for, but they seem important. So we gain some experience. Okay, and I want to look at two. Um, gaining experience is nice, because the next time we level up, um, this level three is big, because we can make, for example, for this character, we can make our melee attacks refund energy, or we can make ranged attacks cheaper. Similar here, we can make melee attacks cheaper, or melee attacks cheaper, or defense cards cheaper, or um, healing spells cheaper. So we can make everything cheaper. And then we can start being more aggressive, getting more expensive cards. Um, uh, no, I do not like that Tabula Rasa card. Dispels all. It gets rid of all my debuffs that I worked so hard to put on. No thanks. We'll just, we'll skip the Obelisk Corruption this time. 
All right, what are you doing, goat man? All the goat men, all the goats. We have enough uh, energy, we can do everything. So let's get your resistances way down. Ooh, now we don't have enough to do everything. <laughs> you know what, let's bludgeon you and then punch you. Okay, this will be a nice punch. 18 point punch with nine crack. Grokey should be able to finish him off. Um, you can take some block and end turn. All right, so let's make everybody go fast. Yeah. Oh, these things at the back are still faster than my healer, though. That's fine. So we can only cast. Can't cast all of these. So let's do ricochet. Actually, let's start the ricochet there. Um, am I, do I really want to count on Grilke to kill him? Yeah, I think he can manage it. So we'll hit him with that. Actually, I guess we got to use that on the front monster. So now Grilke will definitely be able to kill it. He might be able to kill both of the front two, actually, depending on what he gets here. Um, well, Leap Slam definitely doesn't help because that's back monster. <laughs> well, that kills him just nicely. Let's just draw a card. And we can pommel you, field bash you, and punch you, and with the bleed, he dies. Just what we were hoping. So let's put some block on you, because these clowns are going to get a turn. They're finally starting to get turns. We've reached the point in the game where our op -ness is slowly going down. Of course, they're not, I was going to say, they're not really attacking, but now they have evasions, so they're going to be hard to hit. Um, so, well, this will get rid of their evasion because it chains, right? There. Bye, evasion. You didn't really need that, did you? And we'll hit you with that. Dispel the, whatchamacallit, do some heals. So you've taken four damage. I don't really need to heal, but whatever. <laughs> hit you with that. Perfect. You died of bleed damage. Just what we wanted. Um, let's intimidate you. Let's okay. We can't we can't sunder armor and pummel. Sunder armor would or pummel would do twenty eight damage. We'd do eighteen, but would apply for vulnerable. I do like vulnerable. And then we can throw some block on myself. All kinds of block on myself. All right. What do we got here now? Not much. Let's onslaught. Pummel. Do a shield bash. And a punch. So he will... Um, Will he die? No. Because he's... Well, he's going to take 9 bleed damage. which takes him down to 3. He's also going to take 3 burn damage. But his fire resistance is 36%. So I think he's only going to take 2 burn damage. So that's going to leave him at 1. Which obviously sucks. <laughs> so we need to find a way to just do one damage. Well, let's... There. That's, that's all we can really do. And then Hunter's Mark. Let's deflect, draw a card. Deflect, draw another card. Find weakness. Hunter's Mark. And then debilitate. So he... Uh, yeah, this is why I don't want stuff to remove debuffs. Because look at all the debuffs we just put on him. So he's going to take six burn damage. But it'll probably only be like... Or maybe even three. And he will take eight poison damage. But poison is at the end of the turn. All other damage over time is at the start. Which is kind of unfortunate. But it is what it is, right? Alright, so. Sorry, I was just reading the text. And you're dead. Did you notice that? <laughs> it did 58 damage. The card only says 20-something. I'm starting to think, I feel like they've added a bunch of cards that ignore block or purge stuff. I feel like maybe the game wants me to take this. Like it'll be useful. And then let's take another bluff. Let's take another ricochet. And you can just take the shards. Alright, so let's, uh, let's sell our golden wool for a thousand gold. And we get a 20% discount at the store. Sure. I'll take that. 
course, store doesn't have a lot. <laughs> well, this four leaf clover is a, a strict upgrade to the soap, so I guess we'll take that. Now, this can be an amazing card, this flaming sword, as can this, but we're not doing a flaming deck. Well, this pyromancer robe is actually pretty good. What does um, what does he have? Max HP resistances. He has pretty good armor. What's he have? Wait, do two of them have that? Yeah, they do. What's he have? Ooh, that's pretty bad. But he gets see because of traits or perks, he gets five powerful. He only gets three, so it's better on him. Yeah, plus fire resistance is good here in this zone because there's a lot of fire damage. Um, it's not a terrible ring. Yeah, that's that's fine. I'm I'm okay with that. All right, so let's make our way. We got to make our way up here. There's an event to climb up. Let's just try to take the short way here. We took the long way in the first area, <laughs> more often than not. All right, you're in front of a large lava cascade. We can climb for the chest and go back down. We can ignore the chest and try to climb to the top, or try to get to the top with the chest. We got to roll an eight or higher for that. Not happening. Let's try to roll a five or higher. Come on. Come on. Nice. Just barely. So we reached the top of the volcano. We're making this. So the boss is right here. We're almost at the boss. But we got a corruption here. Let's take a look. Noxious parasites. All monsters gain two extra damage or immune to poison. We're not doing poison. But they get hatch in their deck. Hatch means they, they summon a bunch of little spiders. I don't like spiders. Increase the quality and quantity of the card wards at the end of the combat or exotic equipment shop. You know what? We're going to skip it. I kind of I just want to get to the fourth area, right? That's why I'm doing the stream because they added the new area. I want to get there. So I'm kind of starting to be aggressive, trying to get around, get through. All right, so what can we do here? We can't do everything. We got to skip one of the two costs. So let's do Sunder Armor. Um, let's do a bluff, draw a card. Ooh, now I have a choice. I wish I would have had this pommel earlier. I should have done the bluff first. I think we got to do a pommel here. Or pommel and a defend, I guess. And then a punch. Yeah, whatever. That works. All right, so let's deflect, draw an extra card. Song of Celerity, make us faster. So now we go before they do. Hunter's Mark. Uh, do I want Hunter's Mark the first guy? No. Maybe. No, it's Hunter's Mark the second guy. And we'll put that on him. Then we'll hit the first guy. First guy. Man, they have a, he has a lot of blunt. A lot of resists. Because, I mean, we hit him with five vulnerable, and he still didn't take much damage from that stuff. All right, so let's do a Piercing Howl. Let's do a Heavy Strike. Am I going to be able to kill him? Yeah, just barely though. Uh, let's put give some some block on you. So we only managed to kill one <laughs> this time. Well, probably. I mean, in theory, I might be able to kill something, but probably not. Spell two. So let's dispel that because he has some negative things. Uh, so you're immune to fire. That's fine. Mostly just trying to get some damage on you. Heal doesn't do anything. That's fine. All right. So, yeah, we only killed one. That kind of sucks, but it is what it is. We're doing fine overall, I feel. We'll be, we're going to be okay here. We're going to be okay. All right. So, trebuchet. So, he took... A bit of damage. That's not a big deal. All right, we only have three energy here, so we got to be careful. So if I cast Bluff, I can't cast Throw Bolas. But this lets me draw a card, so let's hope I draw something good. But yeah, they put two of my guys at the bottom of the turn order, right? I did not. Yeah, me. Yeah, well, whatever. It's fine. Punch, punch, block. That's fine. We got rid of one there. What's this two out of three? Hardening. Damaged by others. Oh my god, he gains. 
means block. All right, so we only have three energy this time. I could do condemnation, but then that's it. So let's actually do damage over time. Removes all those fires, which is nice. Um, let's hit him. Draw a card. Okay, we just got to get through these hardens. All right, so now the harden... Oh, it's only when damaged. Never mind, that was probably stupid. Okay, so he's all healed up. Let's give you some block. And yeah, I don't need I'll save the energy. I don't need to heal. I can save the energy. Lava eruption's fine. Fiery fist. Yeah, a little bit of damage. Oh, take some damage there. Not a lot. I mean the the regeneration helps, obviously. Um, so let's go Amel. All right, so that hardening is finally gone. So that gets rid of his shield. And this does nothing because block goes away at the end of the turn and they don't get another turn before we do, right? So all right, that's fine. All right, so we're going to use this ricochet probably. Oh yeah, we have seven energy here. So let's actually go with that first. Then ricochet on you, back to you, back to you. Do the same thing with this ricochet. Just trying to wear them both down, right? And then we will expert tracker you. And we want offensive cards here. So no thanks, no thanks. Confirm. Okay, so that should set him up for good turn. All right, so Wild Hunt is good, too. Hunter's Mark, you, because you're going to be alive for longer. Let's get a deflect, get another card. All right, we only have two energy left, so let's do a uh, shot, shot you. Okay. Yeah, they're not going to survive my, my two tanks turns here. I don't think. So let's intimidate you. Let's enrage, draw a card, gain some energy. Follow up. So reduces the cost. So we got to do an attack. This will be a punch. And it makes the next attack cheap. Which is, makes this free. So that will kill. This will kill. Uh, no, let, okay, so let's kill with that. And then. It's piercing howl. And bludgeon. And that. That will do it. <laughs> and then some. That did it with style. All right. Wrecking Ball. What's overcharge do? Pay one extra energy to increase the damage and heal done by the specified amount. You can repeat this as long as you have energy. No. Overpower. Deal 57 damage. Apply 6. Um, crack. And ignores block. But I mean that costs 5. But I have something in my deck that would make that free. So I'm actually going to take that. You were going to take shards. You were going to take shards. And... Oh, I do like this card. Because it heals the whole... It heals everybody. Alright. Oh, and we got the level up just in time. Alright, so melee attacks are cheaper. Melee attacks are cheaper. Oh, I forget what's in his deck. Do we have more ranged or melee? <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight melee. But two of them are free, so really only six melee for the purposes of this count. And then we have one, two, three, four ranged. The ranged are more, sometimes more expensive. We definitely have more melee, so let's let's take the melee. So we get a every time we use a melee attack, we get one energy back, and so heals are super cheap from him now. Beautiful. All right, it's boss time. We don't need to heal. Let's just confront it. So this thing has a ton of HP. That's fine. All right, so yeah, everything's cheaper now, right? Which is huge. So we can kill that. Kill with that. Kill with that. Um, we could kill it with this. I want to kill it. Um, no, let's kill it with this. I want to get these debuffs on him, right? There's some crack. There's some crack. 
There's even more crack. So he's got a lot of crack. <laughs> crack. Say crack again. Because the thing is with crack, too, like, there's two different ways that it's a terrible word to say. It's a drug, and it's, you know, a butt crack. So I don't want to say crack all the time, but here we are. That's what happens when you make a crack deck, I guess, Looch. I guess next time we'll have to make something other than a crack deck. <laughs> all right. Find weakness. Ricochet doesn't do much. It's a mute to burn. But we'll hit him with the ricochet for the mark. But because there's nothing to ricochet off of, it only does one hit. And we will expert tracker you. And we are going to go with offensive stuff. Actually, I'm going to move myself. God, I don't know where do I put myself here. That blocks my energy. Right here, maybe. This blocks part of my hand. Anyway, I just want to show, you can see what cards he has showing there, right? Or I'll show it in a sec. Um, so these are going to be cheaper. How much energy is he going to have? Four? I don't care about barricade. Everything else we can keep. So as you can see his cards there, he's got, he applies six fire and um, shackle, reduces somebody to zero speed. Um, deals 15 slash 15 fire to the front hero I should probably and it chains I should probably try to get my front hero some defense and summons two of the magnets like that's a little ad I had to kill already anyway um, we're already faster than him might as well save my energy alright so um, next attack we draw a card and reduces the cost of the Highest attack card in hand by one. So let's do this. It's free. Okay, so now everything... Oh my god. Everything's cheap. Alright. He's about to take a lot of damage. <laughs> like, a lot of damage. Actually, is he going to survive this pummel? He might not survive this pummel. Especially at... Well, he won't... Yeah, I think he's dead. I think he's dead. No, he's not quite dead. Well, he's taking 30 bleed damage. My healer does not need to do much to kill him. This is crazy. I don't think I've ever killed this guy in the first turn like this. Easy peasy. Done. All right. Uh... I'm going to take this purge block thing because I feel like it's going to be useful later. Another enrage. Let's take that. We're not using stealth. We're not using stanzas. We're not using small weapons. So we'll stick to shards. We loot the golden chest. It's kind of like the golden snitch. All right. Um, well, this is an upgrade to what he has. Well, we're going to use that. Um, he already has this ring. He still doesn't have anything in this slot, so we'll give him this. Even though it's... Uh, what's heat assimilation do? Yeah, I don't really want... Yeah, I guess. Um, all damage plus two. Actually, we're going to give that to him. But this first guy, I think, is just going to take the money. You can take the Continuum Blade. You will take... Yeah, let's take that, I guess. I mean, it's better than nothing, right? And you can take that, because it's strictly an upgrade to what you already have. All right, we are on to the green portal. All right, so this is the Swamp. I'm going to try to get through this relatively quickly. Because I just want to see this fourth area, right? Although getting trying to get through stuff quick means less XP. So it might mean that the uh, <laughs> the fourth area is even harder. But that's that's fine. That's whatever. All right, so let's, uh, let's do a premium divination here. See if we can get some, some good cards. Oh, this is a new card. Deal X. Crush. Hello, Roman. How are you this evening? 
x equals your HP times 0.8. Applies four vulnerable and ignores block. Okay. That's a lot of damage. We're taking that. <laughs> oh, ground slam is really good. I like ground slam. Taking that. Um, lethal shot. Fire shot. We'll take the shards there. And we'll take the shards here. All right, so we need to upgrade some cards out of this deck. Like Ground Slam, for example. Um, let's just go with this upgrade. All right, where, wait, where's that? Here's, there's that expensive card. Well, it will cost a lot. We can upgrade to make it cheaper. But it costs, like, all my shards. I don't like this card actually. Now that I know what it actually does, we're getting we're gonna get rid of that card. I don't. I thought it gave everybody the block. It doesn't. It does not. So we don't like it. <laughs> it's really that simple. Have you ever played across the obelisk before, Roman? Uh, let's do this. This. And yeah, just make it do a bit more damage. That's meh. Okay, Piercing Howl. Let's do that upgrade. Bend. Let's make one of those free. So let's make them both free. Bluff. Let's make it apply crack. Intimidate. Extra mark. Or extra mark and an extra vulnerable. I like vulnerable. I'm big. I'm a big vulnerable guy. Finish recovering from COVID. Other than that, started playing again Team Fight Manager, and this game's on my wish list. All right. Well, it's a pretty cool game, if I'm being honest. I'm a big fan. And I'm glad that you're getting over COVID. I had it myself a month and a half ago. It was the end of January, I think. And it wasn't enjoyable. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I'm sure people have had it far worse. How much? Uh, how much does it cost on Steam right now? I don't, I don't even remember. I bought it like last year when it came out. Let's do that upgrade. All right, so we're pretty much out of shards, but we're in better shape now. I guess we can check the shop. I don't have a lot of money left. Yeah, probably should have checked. Oh, yeah, because look how good this is. Oh, no. Is this a new item? You know, Carl? Because this is an amazing... I should have checked the shop first. Wait, can I sell? Can I sell these? Isn't there a way to sell my excess supplies? Yes. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Victory. All right, so destroy your gauntlets. You have that. You have that. That's strictly better. So you're going to take the destroyer gauntlets. Nice. What else is here? Um. Okay, well, that's strict upgrade to what he has. Of course, we're broke again. <laughs> so let's sell some more supplies. <laughs> I mean, I have lots. Well, I had lots. I don't have lots anymore. Some of these items are pretty freaking good, man. But now I'm broke. But I have shards too, so I can upgrade more stuff. Is this an upgradable card? No. Let's make this free. <laughs> free is good. Um, let's improve barricade a little bit. I can. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make this cheaper. Four is a lot, and it makes it do more vulnerable. I don't know. I feel like this Titanfall card card is amazing. Uh, let's make this barricade better. Let's make the shield bash a little better. Colossal blow. Gain four. Four powerful is nice. Let's do that. And we can upgrade this maim. I'm fine with it hitting the front monster. All right, let's go. Let's get into it. Let's do the let's do the marsh here. What's the fastest way? Probably. Right through the middle here, I think. 
Who needs food when you can have a new shirt? Exactly. All right, all monsters gain extra damage. Upgrade alter, remove a for free. We don't care about that. Like I said, I just want to see the new area. I will likely fail the new area because I'm rushing through everything else, but that's fine. All right, so we'll do that. Pommel, which makes maim free. Wow, that's a lot of damage. And defend, so we got five energy carried over. That's a lot of energy carried over. Um, and speed up is meh, but whatever. Shrapnel shot you. Get the front monster. It's not quite dead, unfortunately. Let's hit you for 10 and end turn. All right, little punch here maybe to finish it off. No, no punch in hand. But this, oh my god, this does a lot. <laughs> 180 damage. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just. Like that's insane. Isn't that insane? Oh my God. If we hit it with that. It's up to 125 damage. <laughs> Oh, man, that's awesome. Okay. I love this game. <laughs> I love that card. That card is amazeballs. All right, healer, can we finish this thing off? Um, Not with only one card. <laughs> or only one attack. Um, Can we even put up any block? Not really. We can put up next turn block. That's fine. Stinger launcher. A oh, little damage, a little damage to heal. That's fine. It's not a big deal. What do you got for me? Oh, magic mushroom into my deck. I don't like that. And okay, so he has thorns now. Have to keep that in mind. Oh my god, this thing hits hard. Thorns block. Not that that matters. All right, so we we want some block because they have thorns. Let's hit the front monster with this. Front monster with that will kill him. Um, it's under armor. We can overcharge this once. All right, so how do you use overcharge? One. We have one extra. That hit pretty hard. I feel like he's not going to get a turn. <laughs> Probably. But if we can, let's get some block up before we hit him. So we don't take too much thorns damage. We'll slice, get some mark on him, shrapnel shot, more crack. Ricochet doesn't do much because there's only one. Gonna slice. And alright, so yeah, it's dead. It's dead on its turn. So what I'm actually gonna do here, I'm just gonna end my turn. Watch, let's throw up a barricade. I'm gonna end my turn so that my healer gets a turn and can heal everybody back to full. Right? So heal you. Heal you, and I can't heal you. That's fine. I got I, I healed two of them. Oh, let me heal. Let me heal. Ah, uh, <laughs> I drew a heal, but it didn't let me cast it. Oh well. Ooh, and I already upgraded pummel. Hard to pass that up. Oh, uh, another ground. I love ground slam. I can't say no to a good ground slam. I just can't. I like panacea. We're taking this. The spells two, and buffers for two. That's one of my favorite cards. All right, Crocoman Mafia. We can pay a thousand for the boat. We don't have enough. You dare them to bet a boat in a dice game in exchange for your current weapons if you lose. Uh, I wish I would have sold more supplies. I'm going to leave. So now I think I have to go around the long way. Yeah, I do. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I mean, it's not fine. It sucks, but it is what it is, I guess is what I should say. All right. We got six energies. So we can't do everything, but we can do a lot of things. Probably bludgeon. So that's colossal blow. Uh, and pummel. 
finish him off. Bludgeon. Get some of that crack going. Throw up some shielding. Yeah. Ooh, two ricochets. That's nice. And Song of Celerity does help. So Hunter's Mark first. And we'll do a little slice and dice. And a ricochet. And then another ricochet. Wearing them all down. All right, so let's see if we can at least finish this. We should be able to finish the front guy off. He has 21 crack on him, right? That shouldn't be too hard. Especially if we do a free bluff. Oh my God. I'm just looking at all these cards. I have six energy still, so I can cast almost everything. <laughs> um, 43 and draw a card. Or I could just use this. Oh my God, that'll kill him so easily. That would kill him like twice over. And then we can <laughs> one shot this thing. Or we can hit the back one for 119. So that will leave us with three. So we could do 21, 41, 62. Plus it's going to take an extra three from the extra crack. So it can't quite. Oh, I can. you know what I can do though? I can do Bola. Titanfall. So it doesn't get a turn. Of course, for him to kill, he would have to get like the perfect hand. And he didn't. I mean, he's got some damage. But chain doesn't really work, right? Because there's only one. Unfortunately. Yeah, might as well heal him up to full. He'll take three burn. Anyway. He's going to do... He's going to get a little bit of damage in. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. And you're dead. Easy peasy. I had a lot of like, extra damage in my hand there. As much as I like Sunder Armor, I don't think I need another one. His deck's up to 28 cards. Yeah. The healer could take some extra cards, but nobody else really. <sighs> Protection from evil's good. Giving everybody four buffers, amazing. And we'll choose shards there. All right, so, oh, I think it's a thousand for a boat and I have 995. I don't want to go around. Or wait, no, it's, it's only 800. Try to get it for 500, six or higher. Let's just buy it for 800. And we'll go this way. Sure. Max HP, all resistance is no. We're going to skip that because we're trying to get through everything quick here, right? And I need to go get some water. I will be right back.
All right, I am back. Sorry about that. So this thing at the back is like a, an annoying support healer type thing. I'd love to kill it if I could, but I don't know if that's feasible. I can cast everything in my hand though. This front guy has a lot of HP though, right? But let's hit the old ground slam and then the old pummel. Well, that'll get him down a bit. And now he has 22 crack on him. <laughs> Got to go to sleep 3 a.m. here. We'll watch the stream later. Sounds good, Roman. Thank you for coming out. And I understand if it's 3 a.m. I hope you have a good sleep. And uh, I'll be streaming once or twice probably tomorrow. Probably Core Keeper in the uh, afternoon. And then Teamfight Manager in the evening is the plan. Hope to see you there. Have a good one. All right. Um, speed good, speed good. Ain't no problem, man. That's what I'm here for. Thanks for watching. <laughs> uh, front monster. Front monster. I think we can kill him, right? Here, let's let's start on the second one there. Cause he's gonna kill him easily with all the with all the crack he has on him, right? Like twenty two crack. Like pun a punch does forty one damage. <laughs> Actually, what does it do now? Forty five. Uh, okay, so. Uh, I was gonna say that's good because now, now um, he'll die to bleed. But Palmo's only front monster, so we're gonna have to waste it on him, unfortunately. And this, oh my god, we can almost kill that thing at the back. Maybe if we draw some damage with our healer, we can kill the thing at the back. Oh, we can kill that thing. That is a pretty good couple turns, a few turns. If I can kill this thing at the back, which I believe I... Oh, one. Oh, no, I got this. We're good. <laughs> and this. We're good. We got it. Easily kill it. Then we do that. Protect from evil. All right. We are protected from evil, folks. Cyclone Slash did nothing. You got nothing. Bluff. Um, let's enrage. Draw a card. Gain some energy. We got four energy, so we can do... Let's do the Piercing Howl. And the Sunder Armor. And the Bludgeon should do pretty decent damage. Yep. Alright, so... 36 crack. So, I, I don't think he's getting a turn. Just a hunch. Just a hunch, he's not getting a turn. Yeah, no, I don't think. I don't think. Sorry. Sorry, Croco Man, or whatever you were. No turn for you. Double target bleed. Good card, not in this deck. And I think we're just going to take the shards everywhere. Maybe not down here. Now we'll take the shards there as well. Alright, Alter. In the southern temple, you see an ancient altar that still seems to have some energy. Also, you hear a soft tone emanating from it. Before making an offering, you look around and see a few sirens in the water watching you. Everything makes you think that the sirens use this altar and that it reacts to the sound of their voice. Do you want to make an offering? We can leave. Excuse me. We can make a quick offering just as the altar is, or he can sing a song that I know to overload. He has to get a skill card. I do have a few skill cards in his deck, but... Let's try to use it as is. You can use the altar at a discount. All right, perfect. So we can upgrade cards at a cheaper rate. Let's upgrade this ground slam, maybe. Extra, extra crack. <laughs> upgrade this throw bolus. Extra damage. What about you? Ricochet, add the mark to Ricochet is always nice. Abilitate, we don't have enough for that. Expose armor. Don't want to make it more expensive. So let's do this one. Uh, Panacea. Uh, so this is more heal and an extra dispel. This is an extra spell, more heal, and an extra buffer, but we only get to use it once. I don't expect any of our fights to go long enough that we need a second use of it, right? That's what I'm thinking. 
You're at the top of the falls, and the view from here is spectacular. You can clearly see the obelisk and the ancient Nega temples among the waters of the falls. Although you are already close to the obelisk, you see that the path that remains will not be easy, so it is better to take advantage of the small amount of calm to regain strength. So we can heal 30%. We're already full. Yeah. We can look for shards. Five or lower. I don't know. I have a lot of expensive cards now. No, we didn't get it. That's fine. I mean, we've still got some. we still got 260 shards. Just not as many if we would have succeeded. All right, so we just got an event and a fight. And then it's boss time again. Danger waterfall ahead. Ooh, I don't remember this one. You go down the stairs of the temples, but they start to flood because of the waterfalls. At some point, you underestimate the power of the water current, and it begins to carry you away. That's not good. A few meters away from you, there is the great waterfall of Aquafall. You cannot afford to fall down, or you end up dead. Now you can only improvise how to get out of the water unless one of you prepared in advance. All right, well, Grookley has lived in the air for some time and knew the water current. Before entering the water, he warned you to follow him so as not to be in danger. Perfect. Grookley for the win, folks. Take Grookley. All monsters gain extra zero, immune to freeze and slow. Monsters gain freeze. That's a lot of stuff. You know what? I'm actually going to do this one. I know, I've been skipping them. Maybe I should skip them. Oh my god, they're all tanky. <laughs> Maybe this was a bad idea. Um, so let's get a maim. Let's get a bludgeon. And a shield bash. And a punch. Alright, so this first one's dead for sure. I mean, 34 crack. That's pretty good. So let's start doing stuff to the second one. Front monster, front monster, second monster. Speed good. Speed is good. All right. So we should be able to kill the first one for sure. Maybe do some damage to the second one. Actually, I don't have much damage in my hand. This is yeah. 36 there, 32 there. That's not enough to kill him. draw a card though right whenever I yeah so I draw I'm gonna draw two cards so let's hope we draw some more damage that's not damage <laughs> that is okay good do a bunch of damage to you and then let's get some defense up just in case Perfect. Yeah, I'd love to be able to kill this one, but yeah, I don't have that kind of damage. Um, barrier on you. Let's get a little regen going. I'm going to keep the panacea, I think. We only get one use out of that, right? All right. Here's where it gets nasty. Potentially. Ooh, Dispel. That's unfortunate for me. Okay, my back hero was silenced. That's unfortunate for me. Okay, so that's a lot of expensive stuff. I do have six. And I do get one back from melee attacks. Um, we're going to take some damage for this, but that's fine. And let's get a ricochet going. Okay. Shrapnel shot? Sure. We definitely took some damage there, though. Alright, give me some damage. I want all the damage. We don't need two piercing howls. One's enough. One's definitely enough. That's a lot of damage, though. Although he only has four energy coming. Maybe I should have looked at his deck instead. He has like seven. Or he only has four energy, I guess. That's not... Never mind. <laughs> Piercing help. They're immune to slow, but still the vulnerable is good. Um, let's get some shield on myself so the thorns don't hurt quite as bad. Alright, that was a pretty good pummel. Punch will finish him off. Um, alright, so which one of these do we want to do? Throw bolus. We 
Should be able to kill that, though. Hopefully 73. Yeah, because we have a ton of damage. That's right, too. We set up our deck, right? So we can just pummel. We'll almost kill it. Should be able to punch for the... for the. No, never mind. It's dead. <laughs> now we can pummel. Actually, I should have intimidated the piercing held first. Now we pummel. Oh, that's so good. Big punch. Can't quite kill it. And we're not going to be able to kill it because he's silenced. Or wait, is he silenced? Unable to play spell cards. I don't think I can cast this, right? No, I can. Wait, so why could I cast... Why did they let me cast that one card? <laughs> that was weird. Alright, so she's a healer type. No, no, never mind. She did do some damage. <laughs> no, I definitely took some damage. Oh, I'm frozen or whatever. Paralyzed. Alright. Well, that's unfortunate. Deflect. Hit for six for free. Debilitate, slice, and turn. Magnus misses his turn. Now, here's the thing. Do I avoid killing her? Can I do any damage to her? No, anything I do kills her. I get my healer a turn. But what if my healer doesn't draw a damage spell? Then she gets a turn. Right? Right? I'm going to risk it. Alright, so we want some heals and one damage spell. Eh, that's not great. We got one heal. And we got lots of damage. Too much damage. Alright, so that was less than ideal. But we're fine. We're through it. Now we are on to the boss. And I think I'm just going to take shards... I am, for the most part, satisfied with my deck at this point. Yeah. So this boss is like four Hydra Heads. Oh, we get to level up four, too. Add a copy of Thunderclap. All damage plus 175. How long does that last? Deals 13 on the next attack and applies seven to all monsters. That's pretty good. Valiant Defender Shield Charges plus six. The next seven defense a random hero gains. Uh, we're going we're going to offense. We're all offense. Red Storm, bleed charges, and we don't care about bleed. The next melee attack, put a copy of it in your hand. Sure. Serrated weapons. All damage plus three. Damage with hit applies bleed and gains sharp. Last seven uses. That seems pretty good. The post is I was gonna say it's defense. Shield charges plus nine. When you block, deals 18 and applies 4 mark. Last 3 uses. I like those serrated weapons, I think. Holy Crusader. When you play a holy spell, deal 8 damage, apply 2 to all monsters, gain 1 uh, bless. Last 3 times. That seems good. You can cast this on a hero. All resistances plus 15%. Heal received plus 30%. Gains invulnerable. Hmm. That seems pretty good. Let's take that holy symbol. And we get a little bit of extra HP. Right? So we're a little tankier. Alright, boss time. We can heal by 40. You know what? Let's just... Well, let's try to heal. I don't know what happens if we fail. We're probably going to fail. I don't think we're going to get 5 or lower. <laughs> God, no. Oh, we actually take damage. Well, if I would have known we take damage on a fail... Well, I guess we critically failed, too. Right? We didn't just fail. We critically failed. Alright, so they take turns taunting. Um, so yeah, this could be rough. Alright, so let's enrage. Piercing Howl for sure. This is so expensive. I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. Bludgeon. Get that crack on the go. More crack. More crack. So we didn't do a lot of damage there, but... It's a lot of crack. Hopefully it's enough crack. Uh, say crack again, Looch. Crack. 
crack. Alright, so let's use the serrated weapons. Let's find weakness. Um, then expose armor. And song celerity, I guess. That's all I can really do. Alright, well, this is good. That card's nice right now. We didn't draw a lot of damage. Did we draw enough? I think I drew enough, though. Oh, yeah, with the... Yeah, we're good. Oh, that'll leave him with one health. That's awesome. Alright. That's the key with these guys. You, you need to make sure you're killing one every turn. If you're not, that's when you get in trouble. Alright, so we, we, we need heals now. So that's good. Oh, perfect. Prayer of healing is perfect. L2, heal X. Um... Spell you. Okay, and then we'll heal everybody. And we'll do a little damage. And we'll throw the barrier on you since you don't have any shielding. That was a pretty good turn. We killed one, actually started on the second one. And we actually healed. Okay, so he's actually invulnerable. Wait, so it was... Okay, so now he's going to go first. He's Yeah, there you go. Now the taunt comes. Okay, so I'm not full anymore. There's the taunt. Why do I only have three cards? So this hits the back monster, but it doesn't because of the taunt. And a taunt. Man, we don't, we're not doing much damage because of this, this resistance but, uh, boosting thing. We had we we did pass up cards that would that would purge that. Maybe I should have grabbed them. In retrospect, I wish I would have. Um, six crack sounds good. Oh, we only have three energy. The next melee attack, put a copy of your hand, costs zero and vanish. Do we get an extra pummel? Yes, we do. course it's only doing five at a time so it's not that good that was not a good turn this turn is not going nearly as well as the first turn did well he has such high resist right that's the problem you got to put some vulnerable on him and why am I only drawing four cards like, which of these effects makes me only draw four cards? I don't... I don't understand. Um, well, we can cast everything, so let's do that. There we go. There's some vulnerable. There's some vulnerable. A little too late now. No, this will hit, though. Hit hard. Not hard enough. I don't think I'm going to get him killed. Well, he's going to take 20 bleed damage. No, because this thing will heal him, probably. Um, well, I can cast everything. Which is good. Well, he's almost dead. Alright, well, I've had worse turns. But I'm going to be honest, this is... Ugh. It's not going well. Well, no, it's going okay. Okay. All right, so there's the taunt. But see, he doesn't have all the extra bull crap on him, right? The resist stuff. So it should be better. Oh, and we still have double taunts. All right, so which one do we want to kill here? We should probably kill the one that's low. Let's deflect, draw an extra card. There's some damage. All right, well, there's he's dead. Um, let's look at your deck. Oh, man. I'm taking a lot of damage. I need to get some heals in here. Uh, how much energy do I am I getting? Hmm. So we can use that to make that free. 
Use that. Can I cast everything? You know what? I'm just going to keep everything. Of course, I'm not going to draw all those cards, right? I'm only going to draw five of them. Going to end turn with four energy left. That kind of sucks. All this poison and lightning damage. Like, he's going to take 24 poison damage at the end of his turn. That kind of sucks. All right, so that's good. Mark, vulnerable. We need that vulnerable. And then, okay, so cast this. Make this free. And then we use Thunderclap. No, that was, was that a mistake? Next attack deals 48, but does that carry over to next turn now? Because I didn't, I didn't attack. I'm legitimately not sure. <laughs> All right, I needed that. Um, I think I better barricade. We can punch. Oh, that was stupid. I did that wrong. I rushed. I rushed through that. Because I could have cast onslaught, and then I could have done the punch for free. Right? Which would have made this free. So I could have cast this. But now I don't get to cast it. Alright, I need to I need to get some heals here before somebody dies. Now, after the boss, everybody heals to full. But, I mean, we're not there yet. So heal you. Heal you? Question mark. And let's hit you with that. All right, I mean, it's, like I said, this can go better, but it can go worse, too. For sure, it can go worse. All right, so we only have three energy. I think I got a bluff, then ground slam, then pummel. Pummel will kill him, for sure. Pummel will overkill him. <laughs> Punch. Intercept, self-heal, or self-block. Okay, we got this. We're fine. This one's more of a support. It doesn't really do damage, so it being there is not really a threat. Uh, boom. Boom. There we go. Yeah, he's, he's toast. He's toasty. Although... <laughs> He's going to be almost dead from poison at the end of his turn, but if he died now, it's not a big deal. Oh my god, I drew crap, though. Oh, that helps. No, that doesn't, though. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Yeah, he's got 16. We can kill him. As long as I draw one damage spell. And if I don't, it means I can heal. Because he's going to die to bleed. <laughs> Oh, oh, wait, he's not dead. Why isn't he dead? Next healing spell does a lot more. Okay, so now he doesn't die, which is good, I guess. Because he does get a turn. No, wait, he's going to die to dots. No, because he regened first. That's right, too. See the ordering here? You, he, He's going to regen for 35 before the dots hit him. But that's fine. We got, We got him. He be dead. There we go. All right. On to the new area. <laughs> we are two hours into stream and we finally get to the new area. Oh, double target crack. I can't pass that up. Oh, it bludgeon going to be nice too. I should be I shouldn't be taking new cards right now. But I am. <laughs> Meditate's a nice card. All right, golden chest. What do we got here? Um, that actually might be nice for that slot for him. Nothing else seems particularly good. Maybe this. For him. So he'll take that. He'll take the money. He'll take that. He'll take that. All right, on to the new area. 
which I've heard is hard, which is good. It shouldn't be easy, right? It should be hard. Everybody heals. Act 4 intro. Text work in progress. Ooh, looks scary. All right, let's go to the store. Let's check the armory. Immune to slow is nice. Um... Don't get me wrong, there's some decent stuff here, but nothing nothing that I want. Oh, pets. I should probably buy I probably should have bought pets a long time ago. Uh, too late now. I'm not buying any pets. <laughs> um, anything need to be upgraded? Guess we can upgrade these intercepts. <laughs> And Siege Breaker. Man, doubling. Doubling crack is just kind of amazing. And bludgeon. I wish I could make this cheaper. We're making apply more cracks. Good. Crack. <laughs> Being able to hit any monster is nice. Being able to hit any monster is nice. <laughs> we don't have enough for that. Still so premium divination. See what we get here. Devastate. Oh, applies three crack. Heals X damage. X equals your HP times 0.2. No. Shards, shards. Another debilitate. Sure, let's take another debilitate and shards. Um, so I can upgrade. Oh, there was some. What was it? Uh, oh wait, we have negative cards in our deck too. Let's uh, let's remove those. <laughs> Probably should have done that right away. Okay, there. They're gone. Uh, meditate. That's what I wanted to do. So that you, you get an extra energy. This means you always start the game with it. Um, Let's go with that, I guess. Alright, here we go. New area. How hard is this going to be? Is there any rare events anywhere? Anything that looks like a mini boss? Got a forge here. Healing area here. Alright, let's go this way. Yeah, I'm just going to pass on any obelisk corruptions right now. Oh, that's a lot of HP. And that is a lot of resists. Holy crap. A lot of melee resists in particular. All right, what's well, Enrage. Piercing Hell. Hey, Axel, how are you doing? Oh, you're an Across the Obelisk fan? Have you played recently? They just had a patch this week that added, like, the, the fourth area, finally. Um, so... Resistance are still really high. Holy crap. Alright. It's got them got the resistance down where they're reasonable at least. So let's hit a couple of pummels here. There we go. Now we're doing some damage. That's what I'm talking about. Wearing them down. Got to end turn with three energy in the back pocket, but that's fine. Um speed is good here. Ricochet is good, so let's just start ricocheting around. And some marks to everybody. Nice. Okay, spreading them around. I feel like he's going to die no matter what. So let's just put that on him, because this has to go on him, because it's from Monster Only. But I'm pretty sure Grookley's going to finish him off. Well, I mean, definitely finish him off with the Titanfall. But probably... Use that on him. <laughs> Can I kill the front monster? Oh yeah, bludgeon will kill him. Punch and bluff won't quite kill him. So let's bludgeon. Let's just kill him with bludgeon. All right, so we got four energy left. So I can do Titanfall. No, let's do this back monster first, and then this kills him. No, almost. 
not not even almost, I guess. Oh, well, he's all, no, he is almost dead. Oh, if this was the one where I could pick, where it didn't have to go to the front. Oh, well. That was a pretty productive turn, though. We might be able to kill this back guy. Um, so let's draw an extra card. There we go. Holy Ripple. That guy's definitely dead. Beautiful. And... Do a little damage. Ooh, but yeah, let's protect from evil. Four, I love four buffer. That's amazing. Oh, that's a lot of defense. <laughs> that's a lot of block that he just put on. Holy crap. Well, I'm glad I had buffer because he just tried to hit me with like three debuffs. Ground slam. Yes, please. That's a lot of block to get through, though. Holy crap. But let's try to get through it. Yeah, we. I mean, we got through it. That's good. Um, so that's free. All damage is up. Put some more marks on him. Uh, I can only do one of these. I feel like these should be immune to bleed, but they're not. Surprisingly. Which is weird. It's weird that they're not immune to bleed. Because <laughs> they look like robots, right? Alright, so... Uh... Well, I can cast everything, so let's just pummel. Shield bash. Punch and punch. Can't quite kill him. I mean, he might be able to kill him if he draws enough defense, but probably not. He doesn't have that much defense in his deck. <laughs> of course, we got a lot of block right now. I guess I'm not overly concerned with his damage. Oh, you know what? Might be able to kill him. No, not quite good. Happen. Well, he's going to take 14 bleed. And two. Yeah, I think he's dead. I think he's going to die. Um, I guess I can throw heal on you. <laughs> More block. All right, we just got one left. And he didn't do much. Perfect. Oh my god, it has 138 block. <laughs> that's a lot of block. Like, that's ridiculous. Man. Um, Alright, so now we can cast both of these. Well, we're getting through the block. Slowly. 43 mark. <laughs> 43 mark helps. Yeah, I think I think he's going to go down pretty quick here. Well, we don't have enough energy. If we had more energy. More mark, more vulnerable, more vulnerable. More, uh, more crack. Yeah, he's... <laughs> that block went fast once we started getting through it. All right. Another rage, another main... Discover two melee attacks and shuffle them into your deck. Nah, I don't want random melee attacks. Big rating below. I'm gonna pass. You know what? 26 cards in his deck already. That's enough. That's enough. Another Panacea. I do like Panacea. Um. Should we go up or middle? This looks like a lot of treasure, right? Let's go towards the treasure. Got a plaza, got a statue, ruins, treasure. Ooh, this airship looks. I guess I can't get to the airship now, though. Next time. Next time we'll try the airship. All right, the two armies. You arrive at some ruins where it seems that many battles have been fought. To move forward, there are only two paths, and each one is protected by an army of constructs. To the north is the white army, and to the south is the black army. If you want to advance, you must decide which army to fight. Okay, this seems kind of racist. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll fight the white people, I guess. <laughs> I 
Hey, Nosh, Lee, how you doing? All right, what do we got here? We got an Enrage. We got a Piercing Howl. Let's slow him down, make him vulnerable. Let's make him even more vulnerable. Let's get some crack going. Have you ever played this game before? It's fun. I like it. I haven't played in a while, though. I'm slacking. All right, what do we got here? Uh, I'll mark you. Mark you again. Make everybody go fast. Mark you yet again. That's a lot of marks. And hit everybody with some fire. Works for me. Pretty decent little turn. All right, so we can pretty much kill him. Or... But we can kill the one at the back, almost, too. Hang out with the farm for a few days. So I have a menagerie to chill with, but no computer. That's rough. I don't know what I would do without a computer <laughs> these days. 48 and 198 is 46. We can't quite kill him. So you know what? Let's just kill this front guy then, I guess. Ooh, budget is nice. Oh, you haven't played waiting for the full release? Oh, it looks great. They just had a big update this week too. They added like a whole new area. Like this area I'm in now, I've never I've never been here before. So far I'm doing okay. <laughs> but I've heard it is fairly difficult. I expect the boss to be difficult, if nothing else. Alright, let's draw an extra card. And let's do some damage. Not a lot of damage, but every little bit helps. And then let's protect ourselves from evil. Let's get some regen going. And let's end turn. Let's save energy for next turn. All right, what do they got for me? A little bit of damage. Ooh, actually, that, that damage is no joke. Honestly. Yikes. All right, we got through. What do they have here? Pulsing Vigor. Every turn, apply three to all monsters. So that is extra health. All damage plus 175. Let's hit that. Okay, beautiful. Bunch of lightning damage. Throw a bluff out. Throw a shield bash. Punch him in the face. Uh, who needs block? They're her baby goats, though. They're cute AF. And no snow down here, which is nice at the moment. I bet. Actually, there's no snow here at this part of Canada, or very little snow left. I shouldn't say there's no snow. There's still some snow, but not much. All damage plus three. Draw an extra card. Draw an extra card. Extra mark charges, which is nice because we have a ricochet. He has evasion, not for long. Um, so let's kill the front monster. How you wait? He has evasion again. I thought we marked him. I thought Mark cancels out evasion. Maybe not. Oh, and he's going to get a turn. Or he's going to get a turn. That's fine. Let's see if we can kill this one before he gets a turn, though. Yeah, anytime I've seen a video of baby goats on the internet, like, hopping around, they're pretty cute. <laughs> they're pretty cute. I'll give you that. The next melee attack, put a copy of it in your hand. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of great melee attacks. We get a free copy. Of oh, yeah, no. We're, he's in trouble. He's in trouble. He's about to have a bad time. Alright, so let's get rid of this evasion. And we can shield bash him. There we go. He should die before he gets a turn. Oh, yeah. we. I'm getting a lot of turns. Uh, I got healing to do, though. You've taken the most damage, I believe. Um, dispel. Dispel the stuff on you. And then we'll Holy Ripple. And we will Penance. Yeah, even my healer's doing pretty good damage. And everybody's close enough to pull that I'm comfortable. We'll do a Hunter's Mark. 
Ricochet. It's all those marks. Dual Strike's going to do a ton of damage. And he's dead. All right. Well, the random fights aren't too bad. But I, I am nervous about the boss. Right? The boss is probably going to be tough. Let's just take the shards. Ooh, an upgraded Leap Slam. Yep, I'm taking it. <laughs> probably shouldn't. But here we are. Take charge there, though. All right, what's this event? Statue. After defeating the constructs, you find a large white statue. When you examine it, you see that it has a keyhole in the center. Although you were not sure, you imagine that somehow the statue serves to be able to access the next central ruins, since it is impossible for you to get there by normal means. Luckily, there's another path that will allow you to move forward, but it takes you away from the central ruins. All right, well, let's try to pick the lock, see if we can get eight or higher. We do have a lot of expensive cards. But of course, Grokley had to draw a zero. So now we have low self-esteem. That sucks. That sucks. But that's the way she goes, right? So no treasure room for us. So we're going to have to go this way. Wait, where's the boss? Is there like two parts to this area? Yeah, you know, I'm not doing obelisk cor corruptions. Can't get a good pick of them where they are right now, sadly. But in a couple months, the cows will be gone and the goats will be out in our pasture. So I'll post pics, everybody, when it happens. Cool. Yes, yeah, throw them on the Discord. I'd like to see that. Um, hmm. I can't do... I'm not going to cast Overpower. Because if I do, it limits, limits my options too much with the other stuff. Although it's my only thing that... No, wait. Let's do one pump. We'll get a bunch of crack. All right, there we go. So 15 crack. Then another pummel. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're doing some damage. Plus with 36 crack. Should be able to finish it off pretty easy. All right, serrated arrows. Find weakness. We'll do the second one. Let's just start hitting this guy, actually, with all this stuff. I'm pretty confident Grookley will be able to finish this first guy off. With 36 crack on him and all the blunt damage he has. Yeah. Well, this will do 114. Actually, this will kill him. Or close to it. Close enough. There we go. <laughs> yeah, let's hit him for 191. Ooh. Yowza. Hit the back thing for 27. Punch him in the face. Give himself a little bit of block. All right, so he's going to take 14 bleeds. So I just need to do a little bit more damage to him here, and he'll die. Ah, I don't think that's quite enough. He'll die at the end of his turn from the poison. But that doesn't really help me. Heal you. There we go. Um... Yeah, we might as well cast it. Why not? Alright, so he does his damage and he dies from poison. Alright, what's this do? What, what, what just happened? When you apply regen... Okay, hold up. Okay. I'm just gonna wait. Okay. <laughs> when you apply regen, apply to Sanctify to all heroes. Okay, and then he just did a bunch of regens. Okay, that's fine. All right, so let's start with deflect. Draw an extra card, slice. Get some, get some mark going. Cast that. Get some crack. That's right. We're gonna get some crack. I've said crack so many times this stream. It's not good. It's not good. I've said crack too many times. Um. Bludgeon should do pretty good damage. Yeah, not as much as I would have liked. Shield bash, I think, and then a punch to the face. And intercept on you. All right. Yeah, it's actually, he's going to die to bleed. He's going to die to bleed. Although I have front monster only stuff, so 
It's not gonna matter. <laughs> Yay, crack. Well, and the thing about crack is too, is it's got two funny applications, right? There's, you know, there's butt crack, and then there's like, although I guess crack the drug isn't funny. <laughs> it's got two inappropriate <laughs> variations. Now, much to spell two on him. Who needs a heal? Nobody. All right. <laughs> Good times. All right, what do you got for me? Some damage. Some burn, some lightning. That's a lot of effects. Holy crap. All right, what do I got here? I got four energy. Let's make it five. Deal some fire damage. Let's hit him with some mark. Put some poison on him. Hit him with some more marks. And let's see if we can get some big damage here and just finish it off. Legend's good. How much crack does he have? Five. How much energy do I have? Probably not enough. That's going to be free. Please. Okay, one, two, three. Well, it depends what I draw, too, right? But I should be able to kill him, I think. And then... We're not quite full, but we're close enough that I'm comfortable with it. Alright, so, boom, draw a card. Boom, draw a card. Yeah, oh yeah. We're <laughs> hmm, I wonder if I'm going to be able to kill him. I mean, this would, this would do, like, 160, 170 damage total if I needed it. Alright, we're going to take shards there. We're going to take shards there. Guess what? We're going to take shards. Greater heal. No, we're good. I'm comfortable with my decks for the most part. I guess I can get a heal here. Yeah, let's just heal. Just to be safe. I do have some negative cards on my deck that I would like to get rid of. All right, another fight. Um. Oh my god! Every round they gained eleven buffer. Uh, no thanks. Okay, this should be like a four skull difficulty. That's ridiculous. No, no, we don't want to accept the challenge. Oh, what does this thing at the back do? That looks like I'm like a support type monster. All right, so let's enrage, draw an extra card, get some extra energy. Piercing Hal, slow them down, hit their resists. Um, put some crack out, put some crack out, double the crack. <laughs> uh, that's, I shouldn't laugh, but I do. <laughs> crack. I don't know, it's just something funny about the word crack. Uh, making them faster is not really going to help me. All right, there we go. All right, hopefully Girl could get some good cards here. Yeah, Titanfall's a good card. 184. 49. Oh, look at that. That's just enough. Perfect. Eleven buffer feels like way too much. You never get through anything, and I mean my deck is based off getting vulnerable mark and crack out, right? Like if I don't get that stuff out, it'd be a bit of a struggle. <laughs> if I'm being honest, well shield bash never hurts. All right, that's a pretty good round. We got we killed one, got the second one almost half dead. You're going to laugh so hard if tomorrow's wordles is crack. Yeah, you might be. You never know. All right, let's do... Let's do some damage. And then let's throw up some protection. Yeah, now I have the buffer, not you. All right, and I'm curious what this thing at the back is going to do. Because it's casting three cards, too. You can't see because my face is in the way. We don't know what the cards are, but it's casting three cards. All right, 20. Ooh. So it does mind damage. It does a lot of mind damage. All right, it's a good thing I had buffer because he was trying to do some nasty, some nasty uh, debuffs there. All right, what do you got for me? Bring it on. Bring it on. Ooh, never mind. Don't bring it on. <laughs> All right, when hit, it gains 
Ugh, stupid shield thing. Why do I only draw... It? Oh, because I had to discard because of Amnesia. I was like, why do I only have three cards? Actually, I should have done Ricochet first. Get more marks out there. Alright, so we got through that extra shielding thing. So we should be able to kill this pretty easily this turn. The other two, though... Um, how much is Pummel? Pummel's going to kill him. Mame won't quite kill him. Alright, let's enrage first. Alright, let's just kill it with Pummel, I guess. Makes Mame free. It's under armor. Alright, so yeah. It's got some nice debuffs on it now. We might be able to do... I don't think I can kill it, but I should be able to do some decent damage here, depending on how I draw. Of course, I only have three energy. That makes it kind of hard. Piercing Hell. I should have probably Piercing Hell first. <laughs> in retrospect. But I didn't. So here we are. I doubt my healer is going to be able to do 154 damage. Especially with three cards in his hand. <laughs> um, neither one of them really need a big heal. You can do some damage though. And we'll give you a shield because you don't currently have one. Crack might actually be a, a tricky wordle word though. Like the double C. Like if you don't try something that has the CK at the end, that might be hard to hard to come up with. Ooh, you did some damage there. That's fine though. Alright, we get why do I have nine energy? Ground slam. Ground slam. Oh my god, he has a lot of block. Well, this ignores block. Um, Yeah, we'll overcharge by one. Sure. And we'll punch. Alright, so the block is gone. So he's dead, no problem. This thing at the back. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill the thing at the back. Nope, I'm definitely not going to be able to kill the thing at the back. Oh well. All right, what do we got here? I don't need you, I don't think. Keep everything else. And then turn five energy carry over. That's not good. So it's going to die to dots, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, I have front monster only stuff, so. It's free. I might as well use it, right? All right, next attack, draw a card. Let's do punch, as it's free. And then we will bluff, because it applies crack. So I have two energy left. Um, no, ah, crap. Pummel, I'm gonna do leap slam, I think. Leap Slam and then the two Pummels. Yeah, it's going to hurt. He's not going to be dead, but it's going to hurt. And then give you some block, I guess. Yeah, these things are starting to get tough. He still has three. He's still going to do three things, too. Um, okay, well, that's a lot of things to dispel, so let's dispel them. <laughs> And heal you. Flash. Get some regen on the go. Alright, what kind of nastiness does he have for me this time? I should have called this video, like, Get Cracking. Or something. <laughs> something like that. Crack my knuckles. Actually, I... I can't even crack my knuckles. I don't do that. I can't remember the last time I intentionally cracked my knuckles. Probably a good thing, I guess. I have all kinds of energy. Get some extra mark charges. Yeah, he's... He's not long for the world. I was going to say, do I want to wait and get my healer an extra turn? But he goes before my healer, so let's just kill him. 
Um, yeah, bye. All right, so we're not full anymore, which is always a bit concerning. But it's not like we're on the, the brink of death or anything, right? That's kind of nice. Weak is nice. Or vulnerable is nice. And it hits everything. All right, what do we got? Another, we can take another meditate. Mass, de mass dispel is, is amazing. All right, so we got an event here. The twins, you're at the base of the great staircase, but in front of you, there are two colossal automatons blocking the way. The automatons do not attack you immediately. They seem to be on the defensive, and their only intention is to protect the staircase. No matter how hard you look at it, your only option is to defeat them in order to continue. Well, let's heal. That should get me... That gets me full. Holy crap. Okay, so is this the boss? Boss? Because th those are tanky. Those are tanky. All right. Well, let's... Uh, how do it... And the resists are like 80-some percent. All right. Well, fortunately, we can put some vulnerable out. Not enough vulnerable, but it's some. <laughs> that was not a good turn for him. He's capable of so much more than that, unfortunately. All right, so now we can do a bunch of Mark. The back monster. Front monster. Excuse me. I'm surprised these guys... I'm surprised you can put bleed on these guys. You'll see. Is this where you failed to get any farther? Carl, <laughs> I'm assuming. Um, I get six energy here. So let's put some more crack on him. Deal a bunch of damage. Uh, so I, I probably should barricade, right? I, I want to keep doing damage, but I should probably barricade. Let's play it. Safe-ish. Now I'm scared of what they're going to do. Like, I feel like it's going to be really nasty. Oh, he has 24 mark on him. That's why he's taking so much damage. Now I'm going to assume they're not going to put any fire on me. You know what? No, I'm going to save. I'm going to save that card. Maybe, that, maybe they're going to put fire on me. Alright, I... Okay, slow down. I can't even see what you're doing. <laughs> Holy crap, that's a lot of block and stuff. All right, well, that wasn't bad. But that's one turn. <laughs> All right, so let's get a bunch of Merrick, a bunch of Vulnerable. Actually, oh, he's at max Vulnerable stacks. I, I should have cast it on him because he's not at max Vulnerable stacks. Right? That was, that was a poor decision. On my part. That's fine. That's a lot of block to get through, though. Alright, I gotta get some friggin' crack stacks going here. Uh, just the word crack stacks. Okay, what just happened? Oh, when I break his shield, he did something? It looked like. Deal 12 plus. Oh, he's gonna apply some crack. All right, so that does extra damage if he has shielding, so I'm glad I broke his shield. All right, so I have three energy, so I can't do both of these. So let's do the Leap Slam. Okay, what? What's it? why is it doing 16 damage every time I attack? Oh, right here. Damage by others deals 18. Ugh. Yeah, all right, so let's uh, let's hit this guy then. <laughs> oh, do I want it? Is it worth a punch? Is 51 damage worth it? No, not anymore. <laughs> okay. Uh, front, uh, stupid front monster stuff. All right, let's hit the back guy with some vulnerable. Let's get some shields. I'm going to hit him once. Oh, 
How long does this last? Okay, last one turn. Okay. All right. So, heal received. Was way up. Mass dispel worth it? So, you gotta do this first, probably. Yeah, I think mass dispel is worth it. And I'm glad I saved the 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 rain thing because they do do um whatchamacallit all right so we got a lot of buffer that should help hopefully oh my healer's low though okay what they do what they do to me when you play a card lowest hp monster recovers one hp yeah my healer's low and they go before my healer uh okay so i have lots have lots of energy so the demoralizing shout is really good okay so he doesn't have a buff he does what's this okay so i do not want to hit the back guy no matter what <laughs> right now that's fine we can avoid hitting the back guy these pummels are going to hit pretty hard yeah he might be dead Oh crap, now we gotta hit the back guy though. Killing him was actually bad. Do I just end my turn here? He's going first though, is the problem. Right? So unless I can slow him down, he's gonna go before my healer gets a chance to go anyway. I wish I would have got more heals. Okay, front here was fine. Okay, he's not quite dead. But... <laughs> Oh, I only have three energy. Okay. Feel a little better now. Oh, I wish I would have had enough pass that crap all right here we go 79 block i have six energy probably not going to barricade i'm just trying to kill him here so we're going with that there we go there we go all right we're through the shield big damage from the bludgeon all right it's got 33 crack so if girl key gets the right cards here we could potentially kill it. All right, I got nine energy here. Let's draw an extra one. All right, let's get some more marks on them. Draw another one and another one. Some more marks. All right, he's gonna get a lot of shielding if I can't kill him though. So Grilky, buddy. You need to draw a couple of pummels. Like one pummel, and he's dead, right? No pummel, but I did get a bludgeon. Piercing Hell doesn't do anything. Either. He's at max vulnerable stacks. So it's probably bludgeon, shield bash, shield bash. Oh, he's dead. Ooh. Victory is mine. What was my healer down to there at one point? Two health? Like, that was close. That was really close. Uh, another demoralizing shout? Sure. Or wait, or is it over? Oh, wow. Dispel all. Gain eight regen. Heal 36. Two red. That's a good card. Um... 
holy crap, look how expensive this is. I mean, 48 damage is a lot, but it's not that much. Not for eight. Ooh. Was that it, though? Was that the end? Like four health? Yeah. Can you st Stunning is, is possible in this game, but it, there's very few cards. Like, to make somebody miss a full turn, I assume you mean? It, it's possible, but there's very few cards that do it. Uh, ooh, Warrior Code. That's nice. I love vulnerable charges. But these are all new. All damage plus three. Reduce the cost of the highest cost in your hand by four every turn. That's good. That's really good for a healer. All damage plus two. Once per turn when you play a book, draw a card, all heroes gain inspire. Holy crap, some of these are good. All right, he's got that. He's got that. Like, I don't know if this is actually an upgrade, but man, some of the stuff is good. A lot, a, lot, a lot of the bosses are immune to the stun. Yeah. Yeah, there's very few cards who have the stun, right? Very, very few. It's kind of good, though. I mean, it's kind of cheesy to just stun, right? But... Actually, let's give him that. Actually, I probably should have gave him that. <laughs> but he can have that. Okay, so am I, is this the end or not? In front of you, there's an endless staircase that reaches as far as the eye can see. It'll be a tough climb, so before you start, you rest for a while until you recover all your strength. Ascend the staircase. Is it the end? All damage done, plus seven. Energy regeneration plus one. Holy crap. Both of those are good. Fury plus three. Energy regeneration. We are not doing a fury deck. When you play a ranged attack game too sharp. Ooh, mark plus three. I do like mark. My last run that I got at my mage had an item that every turn transferred three curses to the enemy. It was so sweet. Heal done plus 30%. Heal received plus 10% and blast plus one. When you play a holy spell card, it reduces the cost of all holy spell cards in your hand by one until they're discarded. Thrice per turn. So you could make like a damaging healer with that. Okay, so we're not done. There is another boss. So you've done you've killed the bosses that I killed and you've killed this boss, Carl, or you just killed the bosses that I did, and that's it. So now I wish I would have paid more attention to the <laughs> to the loot in that chest. I wish I would have done better there um so it's basically the same there's an altar there's an altar there's a chapel there's a chapel there's a fight there's an event fight event fight yeah they're the same let's go south yeah i'm not doing any hobbles challenges right now no thank you all right it'd be nice if we could actually win this though yeah, it, two, yeah, it's a really big area or two new areas either way, however you look at it. All right, so we'll go Piercing Howl. We'll go Piercing Howl. You beat this level two? Nice. I I don't know if I have quite enough. We'll see. Well, that's a lot of crack in a hurry for you. 36 crack, just boom, just like that. All right, so wild hunt, slice you, hunter's mark, you, I guess. Okay, this has to be back monster, which is less than ideal. Serrated weapons, bow's armor, and sonic celerity. So we should be able to kill this front guy. Like, <laughs> he would have to have drawn no attacks for me not be able to kill him. He's got 30 marks and 36 cracks. Suffice to say, it only two heroes left, and they had two and 44 health. Wow. All right, so 
That's my bar. So that, oh, neither. <laughs> um, I mean, that will obviously kill him. That will obviously kill him. I could both of those would kill him, but... Mm -hmm. All right, let's kill him with the pommel. Kind of waste of a pommel, but oh well. Uh, can I kill this one at the back, actually? Oh, if I had one more. Actually, I might be able to kill him with the healer. It'd be nice to have him dead, though, right? Because he was annoying last time. Yeah, we can kill him with the healer. Holy crap, that does a lot of damage. All right, so what do we do? We got seven, so I can cast everything. Everybody's full. So hit you with that. Hit you with that, and hit you with that. All right. That was a pretty productive turn. Killing two in the first round, I think, is good. Of course, I didn't get much block out, so I might take some damage here. Oh, looks like they're just buffing. Nope. No, he's swinging. All right. Yeah, that's fine. We can heal that up. Although, nine, nine bleed, three poison. Okay. Uh, start with the enrage, obviously. Yeah, let's... Howers resists. Yeah, they're still high. Let's do this first. That's a lot of block, too, for that matter. Let's get some crack going. Okay. Punch. Shield bash. And let's get some block on you. Ooh, ricochet just in time. We still have two enemies. Oh, he's got evasion. Stupid evasion. Not for long. There, how's your evasion now? Huh? So, this guy's gonna get a turn no matter what I do. And this guy's not gonna get a turn pretty much no matter what I do. Alright, so we're just drawing cards here. 22 marks. In a hurry. Okay. I know. I definitely need to get some heals in here. Front monster is uh, almost dead. Okay. Front monster is dead. Onslaught. Bluff. I don't want to kill him though, right? I want to heal. I mean, I could kill him. I mean, Pummel would kill him multiple times over. But I don't want to kill him. I want to heal. Um, all right, Prayer of Healing. Perfect. And Panacea. Can I do both? I can. There we go. Everybody's full. And then we kill him. Easy peasy. I say easy now. Wait till I get to the boss. Oh, pulverize. X equals targets crack. I think I need to take that. I know his deck's getting big. Arguably too big. Oh, the second wind is a nice card. I'm taking that. And maybe Dexter's duplicate attack card from your hand. Cost by use by three until discarded. That's free. We're gonna take that. Um Weak is nice. So I'm going to take that. Alright, what do we got here? Come across an ancient altar. You can take the opportunity to make an app of magic shards and improve your skills. Better improve for the group 5 or higher. Surely I'm going to roll that. I have so many expensive cards in my decks now. Oh, I was worried when I saw the zero and one come up. But we got it. Alright. Pulverize. Any monster? Yeah, let's make it any monster. And everything. Well, what about the uh, enraged? How much are they? They're 
Well, they're expensive, but not that expensive. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. I'm not going to do the second one, though. Bluff. Let's make it apply crack. Oh, I have two second wins. I forgot that I took one already. <laughs> that kind of sucks. I wish I didn't. I wish I hadn't done that. That's a mistake. Oh, well. Enervate. That's not much of an upgrade. Uh, so what was it I wanted to do if I had the money? Second wind? No, I don't have the money. Oh, I remember what it was. Enrage. So this gets rid of... Like, it doesn't go away anymore, but you don't get the draw. I don't know. I think the draw is important. All right, we got an event. You arrive at some strange circle. The ruins in the center, you can see a magic circle, and around it, you see 12 plates. Each plate has a rune and a different colored gem set in the center. You inspect the runes carefully and see that when you press on them, the gem lights up and goes out after a while. Upon further investigation, you realize that some of the runes are missing the gem and do not work. You also discover that you can make a combination of three runes before the gems go out. You prefer not to tempt fate and leave. You press orange, blue, and green. You press pink, red, and orange. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to not tempt fate and leave. I know. But just considering where I am. Ooh. I'm a full, so I'm going to remove these bad cards. Bye. Low self-esteem. And buy low self-esteem. Okay, that's this is this is nice. Getting rid of those makes me feel a little better. Because drawing that at the key time in like the final boss battle, that would suck. Big time. I'm not doing obelisk challenge at this point. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is like my last fight other than the boss. I'm not gonna make this harder. Ooh, yeah, whatever. You just don't want me to succeed. You want to be the only one. I get it. <laughs> Man, I did not draw any attacks here. Nope. Not tempted fate, man. Not happening. Not today, not tomorrow. Not the weekend. <laughs> I almost always play it safe anyway. You know that. Um. So Ricochet... My god, these things have a lot of uh, resists. A little less now. Um, so if I do this, I get that back, right? Yep. Song of Celerity does do something for me, so we will use Adrenaline. We will get a Shrapnel Shot going. This fight's not going all that well. I don't think I'm going to... Well, with this, I can kill him. Well... Oh, yeah. Dual wield. Dual wield into Titanfall. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Excuse me. That's ridiculously good, that combination. All right, I feel pretty good now. Ooh, we can use this as well. Or buffer. Yeah. Me likey. Anybody need a heal? No? All right, let's carry over some energy then. All right, well, we only killed one, but they all have quite a bit of marks on them. And we're... We're well shielded. We got buffers. So I'm feeling all right. You have a super heavy healing attack compared to me. I want to see how that does. We'll see. All right. What do we get here? All right. We'll intimidate first. What's this do? And it's damaged. Deals 22 damage. Uh, so I was going to say, can I get some shielding out? I don't really have any shielding. This ignores block. This ignores block. 
But I got to get through the block at some point. No, we're not going to overcharge it. Pummel will get through the block. <laughs> Did it ever get through the block? God, Pummel's so good in a crack deck. So good. All right, we got some free slices. Do this one first so we get the energy back. Um, slice. We'll do the slices first. Nope, we will find weakness first. <laughs> now we will slice. Pretty sure this is going to do more damage than this. Yeah. I mean, the crack is nice. But, yeah. Alright, so we're going to make sure we kill him. Let's not take the bludgeon. We just want to kill him and then we want to get some shielding up if possible. Oh, let's leave him at one health. That's good. Now punch to kill him. Luff. Draw a card. Use this. Draw another card. Get some crack going. Um, pummel. Oh, I screwed up. No, wait. This will work. So now this will be free. Or cost one. Nice. Uh, wait, did we just kill him? Okay, he had some kind of revive ability on him, I guess. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure we technically did enough to kill him there. Alright, we do need a little heal. Just a little heal, though. Or two little heals. Throw that out. Heal there. Okay, everybody's full. Flash, he gets a turn. But this should be his only turn. Okay, so he's got some buffer. A little damage. Yeah, that's fine. He does have buffer, but we can get through that pretty easily, I think. There's his buffer gone. Debilitate him. I probably should have used Hunter's Mark first. <laughs> I'm getting sloppy here. Probably not the time to be getting sloppy. Right? <laughs> And you die. All right. Game time. No, we will pass on those. We'll target crack is nice. Ooh, an enrage. He doesn't have an enrage. Does the boss do burn, bleed, or poison? <laughs> Renew, grant 12 regen, heal for 27 for 2. That's pretty good. Ooh, purge 3. That might be good. He might give himself beneficial effects. We're going to take purge. All right. Do we need to heal? Yes. Andron. Okay, when did Andron take all that damage? I thought he was full. All right, now everybody's full. Here we go. Wish me luck. All right. You reach the inner sanctum of the central obelisk, but it is too late. Any ritual that has been performed here is already over. After a quick glance around the room, you can see the body of the young princess behind the altar. It seems she is still alive. Then your eyes focus on the shadowy figure in front of the altar. It is Lord Hanshek. The brooch, brooch on his neck glows brightly and a dark energy emanates from it. He looks at you and gives you a sinister smile. The moment of truth has come. You and I serve the kingdom together in the Wolf Wars. How is it you now betray it? Killing the princess, eh? I already imagined the feast of fish and beer. Grr, you there. Give us back the princess. You always struck me as a suspicious and despicable guy. Looks like I want to bet with my brother. Handshake, I respect you. What have you done to the princess? Let's go with the Wolf Wars. In the Wolf Wars, I saw the enormous power of the Queen of Snethia. That was not a normal power of any mage. I studied the lineage of the queen, discovered that she, and therefore the princess, are direct descendants of the architects. For a long time, I wanted that power for myself, and now, with the help of this gem and the princess, the power is mine. Tough luck, Captain. That's, this is beyond you. All right. Here we go, folks. Wish me luck. Oh, my God. He has 4,000 health. 
That's a lot of health. All right, what do we got here? Um, let's bluff. Draw a card. Let's do follow up to make this cheap. Let's do a pummel. Get some crack going. Makes this free. Get some damage in. Get some more damage in. And a little defend, I guess. Oh, this is going to be bad, I think. All right, well, Wild Hunt. Plus two marks. We're going to get a lot of mark on this. On this guy. Good luck. <laughs> I wish he had ads so I could ricochet around, but that's fine. It's up to 20, 38 marks. 34. Oh, boy, if you only knew. So you've, you've already fought him, Axel, I assume, based off that. All right, well, how much damage can we do here? We can do quite a bit. 100 there. I mean, I'm getting them down. I'm assuming it's not going to matter, based off your guys' comments. I mean, I took more than a quarter of his life already. Way more than a quarter. I'm doing 120 point punches. What is he going to... Okay, so what does he do? I'm just going to move myself over here for a minute. So you guys can see this. Summons three shadow clones. Dispel his slow and he gains fast. What is a shadow clone? Does it show me? No. Probably nothing good. Deal 44 damage to the front hero. Apply 7 burn. Okay. He buffs himself. All damage plus 1. Borders on BS if you ask me, but oh well. All damage plus 1. Heal received 300%. I wonder if this is a heal. Probably. Alright, so he's doing... 44 to the front hero, so let's get him 44 shielding. All right, what's my healer got for me? I can purge three, but I only get to do that once, so I'm actually going to save it. Let's put um, some of that on him. Wait, is he immune? Oh, he is immune to that. He's immune to um, weak. He's immune to weak. That's good to know, though. All right, let's see what this other card is. Well, let's see what the Shadow Clones do. 666 health. All right. Did Axel beat it? That is a good question. All right. All monsters. All monsters. Front monster only. Sucks. Um, shield on you. Shield on you. That was just a mediocre turn. Alright, what buff does he have here? Oh, that's the all damage thing. We knew that. That's fine. Duplicate one attack card from your hand. Alright, so let's Hunter's Mark. You. Slice. Slice. Hunter's Merrick, the second one. It's ambidextrous disrupture. Make it free. Axel did beat it. Should I be... Should I just be trying to burn him down? Or should I be doing the ads? I have too much stuff that's specific to front or back monster. That's going to be my problem, I think. And turn. All right. Berkeley, what do you got? All right. Onslaught. Punch him. No, you know what? Let's punch the boss. Screw it. Pearson Hell. That all right, 
right, so we got two. We can do two here. Grill the ads? Like, no question? Oh, crap. <laughs> I haven't been. Yeah, because the ads are all going to get to go. <laughs> Protect from evil. Might be good. Let's chain some big damage, hopefully. All right. Well, let's see what happens. Most HP hero. Oh, they're dispelling stuff. I don't like that. There's, I have no crack on anybody right now. That's a lot of damage. Holy crap. That was a lot, a lot of damage. Now they're purging, they're healing. Oh, okay. I don't have a lot of AoE damage. I'm realizing that's probably going to be a problem. Front monster. I still feel like I should have... Yeah, I don't know. I kind of feel like I should have focused the boss. Maybe not, though. That might be foolhardy. Alright, we'll deflect, obviously, to start. Another deflect. So he's got lots of armor, which is good. These are both melee, so I could do them. I do have adrenaline as well. Um, it's adrenaline. You assume I have a plan. <laughs> Let's actually start damaging the second one. Because he's not going anytime soon. Yeah, um, old Grilke could be in trouble here. All right, intercept is nice. All right, let's kill him. He's dead. You were almost all AOE. Yeah, I'm not. I have very little AOE. <laughs> All right, so bludgeon this fella. Free bludgeon. Uh, let's punch and a punch. Defend. Um, I'm gonna intercept. Let's go intercept. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Uh, let's dispel all that bleed. That spell is tempting, but that's like all my, be all my, all my watch call it. So does he have a maximum number of clones? Like, if he already had three out, could he summon more? I'm thinking I should have just stayed on the boss. This probably you. Okay. All right. Well, that wasn't too bad. 
Why do I only have two? <laughs> Why do I only have two energy? Oh, I cast Watch McCall last turn. That's right, too. That's fine. So I can do this. No, do this, then that, then that, then that. The fact my healer's slower than them kind of sucks. That's that's hurting me right now. I feel like if I have my healer, that's what's going to kill me. I don't know if we're going to survive this turn. Well, barricade might help. Rage. Second in rage. Barricade, obviously. We gotta have we gotta get the barricade out. Punch. Guess we'll try to kill him. I forgot to buy pets. <laughs> Some smart. Yeah, and yes, I know. That you need every little advantage you can get. And I, you know. I screwed up by not having pets. I'm aware. All right, who wants these? Probably the healer. Probably you and probably you. All right. Hit me with your best shot. Okay, that's fine. The old tank's taking a beating. And he healed again, and what's he got now? Another all damage up. Great. Alright, so let's get the heals up. Alright, that... Yeah, oh, I should have healed the healer. That was stupid. That was a mistake. <laughs> Mistakes were made. I do believe that's probably going to be not good for me. We will see, though. We will see. Uh, we got four energy. I wish I had more. Okay, and he's immune to whatchamacallit. He's immune to the weak. That sucks. We're not doing this, obviously. Ground slam and bludgeon, I'm thinking. And a punch, obviously. The fact that I didn't draw any defensive cards right here, that's probably not good. <laughs> the adds and stealth, I can't I can't hit the adds, dude, right now. <laughs> Uh, we got six energy. Front monster, front monster, back monster, any monster. You gonna summon ads again here? Run heroes getting roasted. All heroes getting roasted. Most HP hero. Yeah. Actually, that, yeah. That's going to be some damage. But I don't think anybody's going to die. No, nobody should die. Fortunately. <laughs> so. Go back, monster. Uh, yeah, let's do second wind. And leap slam him, I guess. Run 
on hero, takes a beating. All heroes. Oh no, yeah, no, he's dead. Alright, that's game over. Oh, yep. We dead. <laughs> I mean, I'm okay with it. This was my first run in here, right? So I'm okay with failing at this point. And it is a fail. I don't think these two can solo it out. So when you guys did it, did he ever resummon ads at all? Yeah, stupid Rookie's taking too much bleed damage from himself right now. <laughs> Gonna die to bleed. Bye, Grookie. Nope. I got him down to 1,200. I feel like I wasn't that far. Nah, I'm not saves coming. That's fine. Hey, we unlocked 14 cards. That's good. I'm happy with that. The real problem was that the second to last boss, the two things, I kind of thought that was it. I didn't really pay attention to the items I took. I could have taken better items. Like, I think I just skipped getting an item on one of my guys. Right? This item is ridiculously good. Have you guys had this Titanfall? It's so much damage. So much damage. Yeah, new cards are always cool. This is a good deck card, too. Yeah. Ah. I mean, it's fine, but it would have been nice to win. But like I said, that was my first try. So, is what it is. All right. And just realize that I've been streaming for three and a half hours. It takes a long time. Oh, and also, not that it really matters, but I had no money in crystals at the start. I had none because I had partially completed runs in the mix, but you can't load them because of, uh, you can't load them because it's not compatible anymore. So I had no gold and uh, crystals at the start. So anyway, it's all good. Ninja Clown, hey, Ninja Clown did work. I do love, I love the crack deck though. I guess I could, I could put Heiner in and go triple crack. And okay, does anybody else think it's weird that I'm not actually starting a new game here, but they added the fourth healer for the third scout? Like, does that not seem weird to everybody else? Or is that just me that thinks that's weird? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe go Heiner. I think that'd be funny. Go all three tanks. Yeah, I don't know. His passive... I, I kind of don't really like his passive. Because of the extra bleed. Isn't there an item, though, that cancels bleed? I probably should have tried to snag that. I don't know if I saw it, though. Maybe I'll try a fire run next time or something. I, I got to get Wilbur and Nezglect unlocked, though, for sure. Anyway, that's going to be all for the stream, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. Um, I will probably do another Across the Obelisk stream in the near future. Come on out. Check it out. I'll be back tomorrow. I think I'm going to stream Core Keeper 
if anybody's heard of that, it's kind of like Stardew Valley meets Terraria. Um, similar to Forager, if you played that. So I'm going to stream that in the afternoon. Probably do some teamfight managers in the evening, maybe. If not, I, uh, I'll i be doing teamfight manager on the weekend. I'll be back. Just because I'm not streaming T TFM tomorrow afternoon, I'll be back to it soon. Anyway, hit that like button, subscribe, join the Discord, support me on Patreon. Link's in the description down below. Um, there's also a link to my original Across the Obelisk Let's Play, if you want to check that out. And uh, I have a couple of guides. If you ever want to know how to where to unlock the characters or pets, I have the guides for each of those. Um, the links are not in the description for that, but they're easy to find. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who has them if you, if you search. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you and you.